Welcome back to the Back Map Podcast. Uh, today I have with me Pudros. Hi. And once again, Kita. And Hello. as well, myself. Uh, today we're going to be talking about maps and such. And I'm going to say this slowly because I'm blanking. But we have someone really cool who's really smart about maps and it's going to be really fun. Um, how you doing, dude? Doing well, but like someone smart? Are you sure? Oh, you're smarter <laughs> than me. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all play Roblox here. Yeah. Country. <laughs> Look, I play. I play uh, a funny, before, funny, shooty game. Before you ask questions in the comments again, um, Pudros couldn't connect to. Actually, no. We managed to. We had difficulties connecting to the private server to do the, the filming for like forty-five minutes. For like forty-five minutes, and then we managed to connect to it, and turns out the map changing commands just don't work anymore. Yeah, just put, it just so, shows a random map and mode every single time. It didn't even. It didn't change anything, so we're in Discord. Yeah, so we're on Discord now. So you're gonna be you're again watching a video of a TV playing a Discord call. So think about your life for a second when you realize that. <laughs> let that sink in. People video on Spotify are gonna be so fucking yeah, confused. No, Spotify has video. <laughs> Wait, you're on uh, Spotify right. with this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like 40 <gasps> views. It's actually pretty cool. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, so uh, going back on topic, how are you doing, Boudreaux? Doing good, melting from the hot, from the heat. Mm. But it's, still, it seems to be good. a recurring problem in the PF community. Well, I, I say you're melting because I don't have the AC on. Oh. Mm. Yeah, All right. Uh, that, doing good. I'm glad. What about what about you, country? You do. We've been in this call for almost an hour and fifteen minutes. You know exactly how I've been doing. <laughs> All right, my country brain, doing pretty my well. My brain is struggling. I am fried like an egg right now. And I'm lacking a little bit of sleep as usual, you know, nothing different. Um, today we have a map creator slash map slash asset creator. Maps, assets, and... He creates sort of... joy. <laughs> Not joy. Anything but joy. Oh, come on. So, like... You just just tell tell us a little bit about like uh, what you made for the game, like in general. Well, I've made a bunch of maps for the test place, but I also got one into the main game for a while. I've made lots of skins for for the game. I've made a couple melees, and I've also helped make make a couple lobbies and player outfits. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. We haven't had a talk about player outfits yet, so not really. Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of information about this kind of this period of time where we weren't here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, country wrote these questions right here. What brought you in to wanting to make maps for the game? Actually, what? How did you find the game? What brought you to it? Well. I, w I got onto Roblox on 2011, back when I was in middle school. And then I spent some time playing what was then the only selection of games, like ha build X stuff on this plot, mm -hmm. which was one of the one game that Roblox made themselves. And then fast forward 2013, I was playing Co Call of Roblox Year 5. And then I <laughs> saw there's a paid thing this phantom forces demo thing had to pay some robux for it so i got some money told my dad hey can i get this robux that he said yeah paid me and gave me some robux and then i bought the robux to get into the pf demo and ever since i've been playing pf intermittently but i've been playing it yeah so ever since the alpha you're one of the very first people who like bought access into the alpha and that's what you're saying yeah, the reason I don't have a vet tag is because I lost the account oh. I put with the alpha on. So the one account I'm in is my second. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It's it's kind of funny uh, hearing you talk about Call of Roblox EF5 because I remember playing that stuff. It was it was kind of janky. But I, back in the day, it was awesome. I know, right? Uh the most like vivid picture I have of it, I don't know if I can pull up a screenshot later, but um, uh, in the loadout menu, every single gun had like a janky ass JPEG on them. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the most vivid image I have of this game. 
Oh, goodness, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was it like to be like playing PF back then when it was very, very new? Well, it felt very, very well, compared to what it is today, it was very, very sluggish. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. think jumping from a tactical shooter like Arma or Insurgency. Just like that's what hops. So like no jump yeah. and jumping. Well, I say no <laughs> jumping, but like there was jumping, but it was very much nothing like it is today. Yeah. You used to run very slow. You healed pretty much very slow. You pretty much didn't heal. Oh. And and the running was janky. Everything was janky, but it had it, its charm to it because it was also the time when Battlefield 4 was popular and mm. when Call, well, Call of Duty and Battlefield were on their peak, mm -hmm. so, so, so to speak, because there was also Black Ops 2. So, like, playing PF, I felt like, well, it's budget. I, I have my budget constraints because I'm a 12-year-old, so yeah, A, better than nothing. And with its jank, I slowly began making myself comfortable with it and stuck with it. And then I got mm, through what it is uh, today. I, if I had to say anything. Mm. So it started out more as a, like a tactical shooter? No, it started as a battlefield replica. Clone. I, I, okay. Yeah, no, not clone, because I think you can see we've never had vehicles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we've never had vehicles. We have squad deploy, but there's no squads, so that's funny. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, right. Wait, wait, right. I never even thought about that when you pointed out that way. It does it's seem still weird. called squad deploy after all yeah. these years. Yeah, that's that's from Battlefield 4. We have the People assault just call class. it team spawn now. Yeah, it's team spawn. It's always I've always said squad deploy and I'll keep saying it that way until I <laughs> drop this game. Yeah. We have we have an engineer class, but there's no engineering. Okay. Wait, have... there's a Back, you're telling me there's a back end engineer class? No, it's what it's what it's. Well, it used to be engineer. Nowadays, it's called scout. Oh, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, like the yeah the class build we have. It was supposed to be the the foundation from where they would later on add equipment, but then you never got to it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that, I've always wondered but, why they had scout and recon. It kind of seemed a little bit redundant. Because yeah, like the main answer because they wanted to make battlefield classes, but they couldn't get to it mm. too complex. Okay. Yeah, it was, was a, there... it was a battlefield splinter, if I had to describe it. And then it just got faster over the years until it became what it is today, which is like a weird crossover. Literal, almost gonna be like Unreal Tournament soon. No. Nah. <laughs> it it won't be. No. Nah. <laughs> I know because they're like, they're going back on it. Sort of going back is more like they want to rein it in. Mm. They yeah, but they like, looked at the limit where they could reach, and they said, "All right, I'm, we're gonna stop here. Yeah, <laughs> no more." Yeah, it, it's gotten <laughs> too crazy, bro. It's become too crazy. So one of the first people to buy access into the alpha that's that's kind of a not the first because back then people were already buying access to the alpha because it was it was mm -hmm. quality. There was potential. Right. There is potential. That was when like core five was at its peak too, right? Yeah. Like that was I I will I would say golden age of Roblox, but we know there's been better. There's been better days than back then. Mm. It was back when Roblox was cementing its identity. Yeah. I mean in the PF community, I think we can say that Golden Age of Roblox was in like 2017 when the fucking game was number one all the time. <laughs> Real. Yeah, that, I would say that's the Golden Age if you go by numbers alone. Yeah. Yeah. Because 2017 was crazy. That's when, that's when like child gambling wasn't as excessive and like people ha actually had like fun making games. Yeah. Like 2017 was pivotal for the game. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> Now that we've rambled about fucking the past for like so long, that was that's some really it? cool information. I enjoyed that. That was actually really fun. I didn't expect that. Uh, I I feel like everyone in the community just kind of like have their everyone from this community come from when the game launched for free in 2016, I think, mm -hmm. and only a few people that are still here bought into the alpha. So it's really nice to have to 
talk to people like this, seeing like their point of view, what they did back and why they're still playing today. Especially the people yeah. that aren't overly negative about everything that's going on now. Right. Because like the game is nothing like what it was during the alpha. So like the game, the game, it's a completely different game. Oh yeah. It's literally yeah. not the same. It's, it's not uh, the same down to like the very the very code that made it because before it was just a rehash of cut of core call of roblox your five stuff like i think Lido has a couple of videos on his own channel documenting progress on pf okay if I think... you look at if you look at the first phantom forces update journal versus the most recent one it's not the same you know, like i think it's called phantom forces update one okay he shows it he he's running around with an M4 on a very very blocky copy of Nuketown, I think. Jesus hmm. Christ! Oh I, man, I feel this every channel every... takes me back, dude. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> it's yeah, I know. I look at it and I feel 20, 20 years of my life. I say this. <laughs> I say this even though I'm twenty two, season eleven. I say this even though I'm twenty two, season season eleven. But it takes me. It's like that one scene on Ratatouille where Bro just eats the, the dish and <laughs> then teleports back. back. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Every single time. Holy. I had a question in mind, but like I completely forgot about it send, <laughs> after seeing send this. Send me that video. Uh yeah, I'll send I'll send the I'll send it in the send me that video so I can hate myself when I have to put it into the video when I edit this. There you go. All right. Whoa. The AUG, oh yeah, I was saying, everything about the game changed uh, down to the team colors. Yeah. No, the team colors I have remained the same, funnily enough. Wait, they're, you're... They're still I thought they changed. No. Oh, maybe... Oh, it's because I, I saw the old leaderboard, that's why. It looks like... Yeah. It looks like the only thing that hasn't changed is the gloves. Oh, no, the gloves have changed many They've times. They've changed. Oh, it looks, so, it looks so similar, though. Maybe thinner. No, they're it's, they're it's they're an leaves. entirely different thing. Huh. Before it used to be like separate parts and oh. a union. Mm. Now it's a whole mesh of itself. Okay, it's it's a whole model now. Yeah, it's a full model. Hmm. I can't believe the AUG was the first fucking gonna be in this game. It was it. I you say the AUG, but it was in tandem with like the AK12 and the M4. Oh, the okay. M4, not the M4A1, because they used to be the same gun until they split mm. in the beta. They Did it have like a game. fire selection switch? Yes. Yes, that's it actually kind of cool. able to switch between full auto, burst and and semi. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think I think this podcast is going to be us nerding out about really old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> um Oh my god, the game progressed really fast. Huh? I really wish I could have been I really wish I would have caught this game back then. The the problem with uh, old Phantom Forces is that I caught Call of Robloxia five, and I completely missed Phantom Forces Alpha. Mm. I I got on Phantom Forces when it had like I think seven to eight k seven to eight k players, and then it jumped up to I think eleven to fourteen k in twenty seventeen. It was twenty two thousand that like I remember that. I, I yeah, feel like I was... remember seeing it in the twos as well. It was to it wasn't on 2018, 2019. It was 20k mm -hmm. active people for that's a when week. I played the most. It w it was insane. Um, and after that, the player count just slowly diminished to what it is today, which is like 6k, which is yeah. 50 percent more than like two two months ago, yeah. which is great. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, 6k PF is, is still. It's around thirty percent of its all-time max, so that's not even bad. It's more. Anyway. It's more than the competition. Yeah. Like if I had to get on flex mode, it's more than the competition. I never heard of that. Yeah, like you see. No, I think bad he was saying if he has to flex about. Yeah, if it, yeah, if if we ever had to flex, we would just say it's higher than the competition. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, bad business. Bad business tanked really quickly. Recoil tanked immediately. Don't Arsenal's never going away. It's just no, Fortnite. Arsenal's just too arcadey to go away. It's it's got Arsenal's the Fortnite business fail. model. Arsenal's the JP Morgan chase of Roblox shooters. <laughs> they got they some go wacky contractors though. Huh? They got some wacky contractors on Arsenal. 
contracting on Arsenal is like a whole different story than what it is for PF. Yeah. Uh, but mm, we should return to the topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the wild tangent. Uh, so yeah, let's let's actually get onto the questions we have. Yeah. Kutcher, do you want to ask uh, it yeah. since I talk so much? So you're allowed to brag about what you've made, by the way. Like you didn't specify what you made. You made um you made a map that lasted for a while, Farmlands. Um, yeah. I have I have quite a few memories of Farmlands, but so you had good knowledge of maps, obviously. What made you go from making maps to making melees because in your description you just went from making maps to just randomly like hey i'm gonna make the banjo what made yeah. you kind of uh, well i didn't go from making maps to making melees because i theoretically still make maps more than i make melees funnily enough yeah but like why did i make the banjo because i i was 19 20 i i had literally just moved away from home okay and I was like watching Zombieland on a secondhand web page. And I was like, oh, Zombieland's really funny because I love zombie movies. Mm -hmm. And so I, I decided just for the fun of it, I'm gonna make a banjo and then ask Mar to say it to see if we could get it in like for a Halloween update. And then he just immediately forwarded it to Shay and Shay was like, uh sure, uh, you we, you can have it. And then he put it up for April Fool's 2020. Uh huh. And the banjo's first model was very, very, very basic. Okay. I think I still have it around. <laughs> Fucking two circles and a stick on the end. <laughs> yeah, that and, the, and that and the quartz. I think the quartz are still cylinders, but like very, very thin cylinders. You mean the, the strings? Yeah the, yeah, the strings are still very thin. Hmm. Like, that sounds like an I, optimization nightmare. Mm, yes. <laughs> well, yes and no, because cylinders cylinders and Roblox are a bit more expensive than parts, but other than that, they are they are very much a non-issue. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, like models, like if you want to optimize in PF, you got to optimize the map, not the gun parts. The guns and the weapon models are very optimized. Okay. Yeah, we 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 can definitely tell that because like there's a very large difference between when you hop on metro which is just squares everywhere and fucking containers where it's just like <laughs> oh, no, 20 fps i would talk about containers but like we, we should save that for when i talk maps okay all if right we talk maps but like you, if you ask me mm, huh? no okay. no no but i did get to see how it was made Ooh, okay. mm. i did get, yeah I, get, I did get to talk to the person that made it Mm. But yeah, like if you ask me what made you go from maps to melee, I didn't make the jump. I just started doing both okay. for the fun of it. And I occasionally do it, but I make more maps than I make melees. So What's mainly the, because um, modeling isn't my thing. That's fair. What's the difference between the two? Uh, maps is mostly a studio thing. Like you can make a map on studio if you really put your heart into it. You can get a map made in six hours, which is the fastest I've ever made a map. What uh, is that a map you have like that still no, exists? No, or? no, it's a map I I didn't submit. I submitted but didn't get past anything because it was garbage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I yeah, mean, like, you did it in six hours. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's six hours, but like it was very goofy, even for the standards of the time I made it in, okay. because it was the time of the stylus map map community making program. Mm -hmm. It was garbage. Holy Jesus. Like imagine just some random triangle terrain, very big triangles even. So there's no hmm. slopes, no hills, no nothing. Okay. And I just spammed trees and broken tanks. Ah, uh, Lit literal hell divers two type of biome. I stuff. feel like anybody that's ever tried to just randomly make a map in studio has done that. Yeah, it just starts I literally trees did that. And obstacles. Literally, I mean, that's, but like you can, if you ask me, what's harder to make? I'd say melees, mainly because of the review process being more strict when it comes to detail. Okay. Yeah, like oh. maps, you can just pop a base plate drop some buildings in it you can submit it i'll re i or any of the other reviewers will review it open it on studio see if you have like any misplaced collisions or anything we should worry about mm -hmm. and then we push it to the test place in an ideal environment okay. but with a melee with a melee we have less reviewers 
because I think it's Vic, Duo, and two other people that aren't very active. And mm. then you submit it, Duo, because it's mostly Duo doing it, although I think Vic has done it a couple of times. They open the file, they check your geometry, they make sure everything's polished, and then they make sure it's not anything that could get sty the stylus account or the stylus group banned. Yeah. And then they put it into testing. And then once after testing, Sid goes like, okay, time for main game boy. Okay. And then it goes to main game. But yeah, if you if you ask me what's harder, melee is one hundred percent. Okay. Because of the modeling. Yeah. I actually have a um a question about the re review proce process about when they open your files. Uh... Um I heard that you can't have any scripts in maps, yeah, so like no, no moving no objects or anything. No, mo no, yeah. And this Has is funny. That, like affected negatively map making. I would. S it depends because this back when I made farmlands, I think country you remember. There's this building with a water mill to the side, right? That's okay. right next to a river. Yes. Yeah. That water mill when farmlands first released, it used to have a script that actually made it spin. Okay. Mm. Raspy immediately told me to remove it because it caused a memory leak. Huh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also something that happened with Transit because if you look up Oscar's channel, I think he has a video on it of the train just passing by a tunnel and running him over oh. and killing him. Yeah. That also used to be a, its own script, but then Raspy said, nah, cut that shit. We have a memory leak. This is a problem. Huh. And that's the main yeah the, the main issue with scripts is that they are potential backdoors. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, of course, yeah. it's the server code. Okay. The, th the yeah the shit like guns and credit stuff and all the attachments it's all in the server. Okay. So what yeah, you're saying is a map maker could put a backdoor and like gain no. themselves like every gun and credits if it wasn't no. like reviewed no, they properly. Could they could not. If it wasn't reviewed properly, still not because. The game has its own security measures to oh, remove wow. any scripts that Raspy has in Greenleaf. They're not taking any risks. Yeah, yeah. Ra I have to commend Raspy for it. He he makes sure to take care of any potential shit. Well, that's good. Yeah. So the the short answer, no, you cannot have scripts. Do not even try it. But has it negatively impacted map making in terms of like creativity? Yes. Yeah, I will. I will say yes, but as a, as like a subscript size four fund microscopic yes, you'd need a microscope <laughs> to see that yes on the paper. Okay, Be because gonna, yeah, because podcast, well, you gotta put a graph of you in Word like subscript yeah. uh, four and do his stuff that he said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like I will say yes if you ask me. Can I if if I ever wanted to make a moving part or. Um, dynamic element on a map, like say in Black Ops 2's, uh, what's the name of hijacked? I think no, 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 not hijacked. Uh, terminal oh, on yeah. Black Ops 2. Yeah, you remember the passing train? If I ever wanted to do that, I cannot. Hmm. I cannot because it's a technical challenge to do it Just without add adding a script. stationary train. Oh no, no, that it's way harder. <laughs> it's way harder. <laughs> But I would say no, because if since we don't have to consider any moving elements, since we don't have to worry about anything moving or anything, uh -huh. we can just do whatever we want. Hell, I could make a map with aspects. floating box. Yeah, I could make a map with floating boxes, and it would just, and it wouldn't have to worry about anything. Mm. Yeah, so it's thing, simpler that way. Yeah, it's simpler, but it has at times made me feel like I cannot do what I want to do. Yeah, mm. but it makes things simpler. Okay, that's actually actually a, a lot of cool info just got yeah, dropped. That was really good. <laughs> uh, you want to talk shit. about maps? <laughs> sure, sure. That can bring you right into shipment if you want to talk. Not shipment containers if you want to talk about that as well. Ooh, Same containers. thing. Yeah. So containers. Back can, I, when... can I say what I heard about it before you start? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I talked a little bit with the the contributor responsible for container. Yep. Um, because of something I thought was a bug, which was the penetration in the map that is like disabled on most containers. And uh, what I've heard from her was that containers was made because she absolutely hated warehouse and all the wall bangs and stuff. <laughs> so she just so made an anti warehouse. 
Yes. yes. <laughs> that is incredible. So, so, containers was their personal project, but it was obviously inspired by shipment. Yeah. They like I remember them talking about first making shipment and then they wanted to make their own spin on it. Mm -hmm. Mm. And that, that's where the first version of containers con comes in, the one where you could climb everything, get on top of the center containers oh, and everything. I then specifically remember telling them, hey, we have a problem. This doesn't work. Everyone hates it. Well, yeah. I say it like that. It's a paraphrase because I didn't actually say it yeah. like that. But they were like, okay, maybe I fucked up something. And then we got version two, which is the one where verticality is more restricted, but it still was very small. Mm -hmm. And so it was live for a bit. That version of containers not didn't work because Phantom Force is not Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. And then they were, OK, I got to do something. So I'm going to just make long shipment. Yeah. Well, I say, I, I say they said it that way, but they just said, I'm going to stretch containers. OK. And, and then you got the current, well, I say current containers, current-ish containers. Yeah, because it was changed in April, right? Yeah, it was changed in April. I remember and that. So, I started playing like one day before it was changed. I like I like the new containers. Yeah, the new containers is much better. Hundred percent. I love it, man. Yeah, it's the, so great. The con the V two containers felt like just shipment, but they moved back the border wall and just added hallways in the backs. It was long shipment from the Chinese version of COD. Oh. <laughs> well, huh. I say it like that because it isn't because the long shipment from Chinese Call of Duty is different. But if I had to describe it, I would say it's just the our version of the Chinese version of shipment. Okay. Did but you then, have? Sorry, you have... Can... No, 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 no. I was gonna ask if you had any other work uh, that you'd done with that contributor. Uh, no. Like I've I've worked with them as in talking, and we we have been coworkers, but working with them on a project, nope. Oh, not okay, that I remember. Yeah. Mm, okay. So then they make their long shipment. It stays in the game for a while. It garners some audience. And then April this year rolls up and they say, OK, I don't like current shipment. I'm going to just rotate the middle because it is, it's still not for my liking. And then they push the current, actual current version of shipment. They also like put the side areas in, right? Yeah. I, I remember distinctly. Areas playing on the first day this year that I played in April, I think it was like March 30, like 30th or something. I played sh containers and I was like, this map sucks. I don't like it. And April 1st rolls around and I played again and I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. The, the spawns are fixed. The map is less chaotic and you don't like get flanked from everywhere at the same time yeah. anymore. Yeah. It's, it feels it's, more open. You can learn how it flows. You can learn how it flows. It solves every problem I currently have with Inferno on the test place. Mm. Okay. Like Alice really cooked with with the current penthouse. I mean, fuck <laughs> containers, dude. Shipment containers and now penthouse. They're all the same. No, it's all a conspiracy. No, pen, no pen, penthouse is Lex. Penthouse is Lex. Okay. Mm. Penthouse is also good. It's pen, all right. Penthouse is good. It's from Battlefield 3, but it's very good. Oh, really? Man, I'm out here yeah. not having played any Battlefield or Call of Duty games, and you're, you're all, both of you are telling me like every single map in this game are from these games. I have only not played really. Battlefield 5. I've only played 5, uh, not 5, 1. Okay, the good one. 1 is the best. Yeah, the, the best one. <laughs> like <laughs> The first down, the one? one? The best one. Uh I say the but, first one because, like, it seems like the fucking battle, Battlefield and Black Ops or Call of Duty. I mean, both like renamed their games to the same names they had like ten years ago, and it's a completely different game. Yeah, Battlefield One yeah. was when they truly cared. Battlefield One was the single one the, was the one time they actually tried something new because World War One in video games is unheard of. Uh huh. And it fucking worked, and I love it. Yeah, and I love it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get back on topic. Yeah. What kind of other maps uh, have you worked on? I know you worked on, what's it called? Industry. Yeah. That yep. is currently in the production servers. Ooh, for indus 
industry is industry is its own tale because industry is not of my making. Industry is not of my making. Industry is mm. made by a dude named Scotter. I think they're retired now. They were they used to be an admin an admin for Stylus, but then they retired. I don't know this the, the full details okay. because this happened before I was a contributor. But basically, Shay was working on this orange box map because mm. back then he used to use custom textures for maps back when he used to make maps he was working on this map with the intention of making a pay of psyoping Lido into making a payload mode for pf <laughs> that would have been so cool yeah I mean, it wouldn't really. have worked but it would have been cool it would have been awesome it would have been like x defiance payload if it was better <laughs> if but yeah it was good no, it is good. It's just mid, but it's good. But like back on topic, hell, but even better. Yeah, like but back on topic. So Shay made, mm, Shay made industry. Well, uh, industry's original version, aka prison, because it used to be called prison back then. Okay. He made prison and tested it for a while back when there were in the test place back when it was just like we're gonna make a temporary side build of PF with this map only. He tested it for a bit, people checked it out, and then it just fizzled out because it didn't pick traction because Shay was now refocused on other stuff like Suburban Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something that Shay does all the time, just start a project <laughs> and not finish it? Shay just hops from project to project. It's yeah. very funny. It's kind of where the Lime stuff came from. <laughs> but but uh, So he makes Prison. Prison fizzles out and dies a miserable death, stays in the archive for a bit. And then Scotter picks it up and says, Hey, Shay, can I maybe toy with this a little bit? And Shay goes like, sure, go ahead. And so he starts messing around with it, pushes it to test this Industry V2, I think is the name. Then Industry V2 gets tested for a while, fizzles out yet again. And then Scotter goes to Terrence, who's, actually, who's another map reviewer I work with. Then Terence says, okay, I'm going to help you. They both toy with it for a while, keep testing it a little. And then Terence hits me with, A, hey, do you want to help me with this map? And I'm like, sure. Uh, what I did was basically retool most of the buildings into what they look like today. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so basically take it from the stage where it is just like a bunch of textureless boxes to a detail stage. Hmm. So you did the detailing on it. Most of it, because like, Terrence and Scudder did do their part. The the art pass guy. Sort of. <laughs> yep. The art pass guy. Is that something that happens a lot with maps in Phantom Forces where people just drop them and other people just come and pick them up? Or no. No, that it's, wasn't it's the an oddity. exception. Hmm. It's an it's the exception because oftentimes you'll see a map in the textualist stage. And then it will just fizzle out and die. It will go to the archive. Did you expect it to go to production? No. I'll be honest, no. It's always been an issue to take a map from test to production. Okay. Kira, I think your microphone died. Uh, no, I'm right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, <laughs> like, but yeah, if PF has ever had an issue for maps, it's that it's always been a... a Sisyphean struggle to get a map from testing to production. Hmm. Do you yeah, do you have any lot. reason you can identify that you think that is or? Uh, not they just really. Don't like, have the pipeline I would say anymore. it's well. We nowadays it's not the pipeline, but before it wasn't any better. Okay. Like, like I would say it's a lack of willingness. Well, not willingness because there's a will. Uh, I would say it's that they they worry about what happens when map when a map goes into the game and it's not well received. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, because before, Shay used to check the taste pl test place out once, a once in a while and say, hey, maybe this we could give a try to this map. Or he would make his own map. That's where height comes from. OK. And so they would put one map, one map, one map, or maybe three maps at a time, because I think elevation and jungle and I remember jungle. Eleva yeah. Elevation jungle and another map that I don't remember right now. Both all went in in one update. Same with neon district, paradise, and lakeside. 
Okay. I think all those three also went into the game at one point. Same with Farmlands, actually. It went but, into but the those game. were they went on production to be clear. Yeah, they went on production. They went I on remember production. that. Yeah. And then at some point in 2022, Mar was like, okay, we have a bit of a problem with maps, so let's run a poll. And the maps with the lowest with the lowest rating are gonna get dropped out of the game. Mm -hmm. hmm. Farmlands and Lakeside and other other maps got called because of various issues, because people could vote on what the issue on what specific issue each map had. Mm -hmm. hmm. While other maps had issues with spawns, the issue with farmlands was was performance. Oh, that's fair. So oh, that's boy. Cool. Yeah, because of the the crops just yeah. blacked everyone out. That makes I'm sense. still trying to figure out an, a solution to it to this day. You can <laughs> make do... it JPEGs, bro. I tried textures, but then they introduced the glass thing with the scopes. Oh, oh. right. Yeah, and since the glass material doesn't render textures if they're on a transparent part. Oh, that's so stupid. It's a Roblox thing. So yeah, I had to make my own mesh. Mm. But back on topic. If I ever worked on other maps besides farmlands and industry, the answer is yes. Currently on Villa on the test place. Okay. Villa. I need to pull Villa. up screenshots for every, every map. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Like if I worked on other person's projects, Villa is one I can just get off the top of my head. Ah, this. But I I know there's been others. I just cannot remember them right yeah. now. Do you think there are any maps in the game right now that should be called? In the game, as in uh, as in that production, should be Def definitely one hundred percent. Both metros. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, I'll say it right now. Both metros. Both metros. I I mean I can see why. No, like I I will say why. People have just been. It's too optimized. Rotten. People have been spoiled rotten by it. Yeah, it is never so optimized worse. beyond belief that like it's not even funny anymore. No, it, like it's it's an inherent issue with its design that mm. Shay even acknowledged it. Back in 2017, 2016, I think, when he dropped Metro out of the game for a while. And people were mad. And yeah. then Metro came back. Well, like, if I had to, if I could, I would remove all copies of Metro. I would put them in the archive. Because it's not even funny anymore. Like, everyone, mm. like, it's funny how everyone just says, yes, there's a met problem with Metro. Yes, the escalators are bullshit. And yet Let's it's the second thing. most popular map to in me, the Metro game. Metro is yeah. just kind of a good, like, shut off your brain and play the game map. It's PF's shipment. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Containers is That's... as sweaty as possible, and then Metro is PF's shipment. Metro is straight up spawn, look at middle, press W. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's... part of its design. It's it's part of its three lane design because there's not much you can do in Metro if you if, if we're being honest there's nowhere you've got like you can three go different because, directions you can go yeah mm. like you either spawn on the on the lower area and go down one of the two hallways or maybe deviate through the A flare up top mm -hmm. and then get shredded on purple or you oh. go up the escalator and pray that there's nobody spawn camping which. No, there's somebody. There probably. is there's somebody. <laughs> yeah. So, and it's not even funny how people like to defend Metro, like they want to be Metro's strongest crusader when they know it's a problem. Now that so, we know, like, what's your Metro least is favorite? one. What's Metro your... is one, and Crane Site based. Yeah, Crane Site because we could do it better. Fair. We mm. we can do it better, one hundred percent. It can get better. Crane site revamp. I'm not so sure about because I think it's it is too big. It is too big, but at the same time, that that size it has at times can play in, in its favor because if it is too big, people cannot get back to the spawn trap spot. Mm. But at the same time, if it is too big, it means you spend more time running from your spawn to where the action actually is, which is a problem Modern Warfare 2019 also had. Mm. Now, besides Crane Site, Crane Site Revamp, and both metros, uh, Warehouse. 
Like you think warehouse is bad? Yes. People have optimized the hell out of it. Oh yeah, it's completely dead now. There's nothing new about it. It's not that it's not that there's nothing new, it's just that it's populated by everyone wanting to be spirals or Oscar. Yeah. yeah I think <laughs> warehouse is the one map where if you join it like into a like half full lobby, it'll quickly fill up. And then be gone. With like sweat lords that are hopping from lobby to lobby, only playing warehouse. Imagine it's if literally the, case. the materials of the walls. I did try changing the materials of the walls for a warehouse once. That'd be funny. No, I like. I think you can look it up in the Halloween database. There's this map called Katrina. Okay. It's literally warehouse, but the houses are now concrete. <laughs> that is, that is exactly remember... what I was envisioning in my head. Yeah, it's literally just a bunch of houses. And it's and well, I wanted to make a map for Day of the Dead. Okay. And so, well, Mexico time. It's not it on even the, has wiki, a the one map that's not on the wiki. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't logged it. <laughs> but I will get to it eventually when I get time. Talk about but the yeah. wiki. <laughs> yeah, save the wiki for for, <laughs> for later. Another time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, warehouse its problem is more so that it's been so optimized that it, it there's no fun to be had. If you go there, you either get steamrolled or you go there because you want to steamroll and ruin the time for of 31 other people. Yeah. I mean, there's also the fact that like when you don't know how to play the map and you're playing in a lobby where like no one knows how to play it, it's just not fun because you can't find anyone all the time. Everybody's lost. Yeah. <laughs> like... The map has also some clutter issues where you look mid and you can't tell what's a prop and a, and a player. Yeah, I, I that's think that's you with the target issues, buddy. That might no, be me. No, it's a player read issue. I, I'll, I'll say we do have a bit of a player read issue when it comes to the player models. Okay. Like, for instance, you take Team Fortress 2. Oh, yeah, that the, game is yeah, you can perfectly that shit. Yeah, you can tell any character apart at any moment. Meanwhile, in PF, you have the ghost color of orange, the current color of orange, and you put it again, and you put it in warehouse. You're not going to see anything. Hmm. But you take phantoms; they stick out sort of like a sore thumb until they stand next to a police car. <laughs> it's the same with penthouse, by the way. You play phantoms on penthouse, and like no one can see you anymore because yeah. of the black floors. Because the black floors and the white walls, because that contrast also the contrast is messed up. Yeah, the contrast messes you up, and the colors they and that they chose didn't help. Mm. But where how, to summarize? What maps would I remove? Both metros, crane site probably, warehouse, maybe bazaar revamp, but that's that's like a non-issue, so I can live with bazaar. It's more of a personal thing. Yeah, like it, I wouldn't even say personal. It's just that. They form part of this popular rotation, what I'm going to call for convenience, the Sweat Lord rotation oh. of Metro, Warehouse, yep. Bazaar, Metro, Warehouse, Bazaar, Metro, Warehouse. There's yeah. containers in there? <laughs> no, the containers is not in there. Containers what? is not in there. They don't like it. Oh, I did yeah, not like, know that. Yeah, like con they don't like containers, and they don't like Penthouse either. That feels like the two maps you should play for Kills, they though, don't right? like it because they they haven't been able to optimize it yet. But when they optimize it, they one hundred percent gonna put it in there. Metro was optimized at one point. Metro has been optimized. Not not years. Metro. Uh, I mean containers, like old containers map. Oh, oh yeah, no. Conta that old one... containers was optimized, but then Alice when Alice with the clutch just new version get fucked. Yeah, and then they never came back. <laughs> yeah. That's and, like, crazy. The main so yeah the main reason I would remove metro warehouse and crane site and also okay metro where, crane site warehouse are the three mains I would remove and if I could mm. get a bonus bazaar but it's such a small insignificant footnote of why that I wouldn't even remove it yeah 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 I I'm kind of the same way like I can't point anything out about the map that's bad I just don't like it. Yeah, like Bazaar's design is, is lifted from CSGO, 99% yeah. of it. So I don't even have a problem with it. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Key, did you have uh, one that you wanted to go to or you want me to just read the next one? Uh, I mean, I was going to 
ask him more maps or question more Go questions about maps. Go for it. You told us what your least favorite maps are and why. Oh, Can you tell yeah. us about what your favorite maps are and Elevation. why? Elevation. Elevation is one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he he worked on No, what, I, I didn't Villa? work on Elevation. No, it, you mentioned Villa Elevation. earlier and I'm like that looks like Elevation. <laughs> no, Villa Villa is actually based off Rick. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah, like if you look at the center, you can tell you can tell Rick's Oh yeah. In front. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Rick Rick is is it's okay, I can play it. Elevation I like it a lot because it's neither too close nor too far. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't have. I, I at least on the times I have played Elevation, I have never encountered a spawn trap. Hmm, okay. I know there is one. I know there is one because I have seen it on other people's games, but I ha but I have never encountered a spawn trap myself. You're talking about the one in the. the I think. The like where there's a big red wall and three windows in there. I think Spezzy yep. was talking about his spawn trap. I don't know if it was the original or not. Yeah, like. I have never encountered a spawn trap on elevation. Maybe for ghosts, which maybe for ghosts, but not for phantoms, okay. because phantoms do do have a more mobile spawn. A mobile spawn, they have more ways out. Bro, I need to memorize are... what team spawns where. <laughs> now, like with elevation, it's easy because they are color coded. But mm, uh, that actually yeah. helped a lot. <laughs> yeah, but on other maps like crane site, it's a nightmare. Mm. Because it's mostly gray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I like elevation. I like elevation. Uh, winter rage, I dig it, but I don't really play it that much. Same with Mirage, because I don't get to play that much nowadays. Mm. Desert Storm would be second favorite. Okay, that's fair. Even, yeah. Then third favorite, Transit. Really? Oh. Yeah. Huh. That's unexpected. You threw two yeah, transit... balls. You threw elevation and transit. I didn't expect either of those. Yeah. People don't play transit enough. If they dislike it, they don't play it enough. I I here's my reason why I don't like it that much, and it's uh because of visual clarity. I can't yeah. see enemies. Mm. I I will I will concede on that. The visual clarity is an issue. But like, if you avoid mid and you just go through like the nightclub portion or the tunnels mm -hmm. or, mm. hell even the metro sections it's it's very easy to see people it is because of the contrast yeah because it has this contrast that penthouse doesn't have and is and is the main comparison i'm going to bring because they're very similar if you go to either of the subway stops like either of the subway stations i will say it Okay, this is very stupid because all of transit is a subway station. I mean, I, tracks, you mean like you mean areas. the spawn? Yeah, if you go to the, yeah. yeah, if you go to the tracks, you can very easily tell apart people. Oh yeah. But yes. if you go to like the the middle area with the funny roof, you cannot tell anyone. It's because yeah. the middle area, the floor is like four or five different colors that are all similar yeah. to the player characters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like you kind of you can kind of train your eye to tell people apart from the decoration. You gotta or learn the map by heart yeah, for that. You gotta learn the map. You gotta put in the hours. But if you hate transit, it's because you haven't played it enough. Yeah. I I okay, I would agree with that now. Yeah, and then from there it's a mixed bag. And then at the bottom is the ones I just said are my least favorite and that I would would remove. I think you might enjoy Rabbit a little bit more now that you know how to launch No, track. I don't like Rabbit. No, no but now that I you know like how to launch tech. Oh. No, I, I don't really... little tank jumpies. Yeah, I know that, uh, but I don't really like doing tech, ah. like movement techs. I don't really like them. Hmm. Mainly You're because not in the minority for that. Yeah, yeah, like I like movement is is a pet peeve. I would say okay. it's. I have a weird relationship to it. It's just kind of fun to learn. That we can save that for later. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's actually. A mapper's view on what maps are good, kind of, kind of interesting, honestly. Yeah, I didn't expect not that. not good, just enjoyable because you know good oh, yeah. is good is too strong of a word. Good is subjective. Yeah. There, there's so many maps, and they're so different from each other. You can't like op objectively differentiate from them. One hundred percent. Okay. Um, All right. So while we're on the topic of 
least and most favorites do you have a uh, do you have like a favorite creation that you've made it can be any creation favela the board. if i if i had to say i would say either favela in the test place venice in the test place or the banjo okay favela is very popular favela is like one of the most detailed maps that i've seen i i i had to put it in a lot of hours making it i'd imagine yeah how much yeah, of that i have a custom? time all of it oh Oh. All of Favela's custom. Oh. Wait, wait, you're saying you didn't use a single pre... No, you have pre-built assets in there. Yeah, I have pre-built assets, but that's for the art pass. Just to mm -hmm. keep in just to keep in line with the current PF style. Okay. But everything in Favela is custom. The Jeez. brick texture. Yeah, the brick textures are custom. The, the ads are custom. All of the billboards are custom. The graffitis are custom. Right, because you got a ton of art in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I painted those myself. Ooh. Holy. Yeah, like both graffitis I made myself. All of the graffitis I made myself. Uh, the textures on the concrete walls on back lot and the brick walls on some of the walls. Like, you... Uh, right. you know the brick wall that's in front of the restaurant? Yes. That brick texture, I actually made it myself. I actually have an Dang. image right here, I think. No, sorry. I actually have an image right here. Uh, hold up. Yep. So you see <laughs> the brick texture on the right side of the screen? The red brick? Yeah, the red okay. brick. Yep, gotcha. That's custom. That's wow. custom. That's a custom material I made. It looks, oh, it's really good brick. It looks yeah. very, very good. Thanks. What what what's the process of making a map like this? Is there like a, any consideration to how it will play before you start making it? Sort of like for for instance, what when I make a map, I start, I place down a, I, I open a file, I make a new file on my computer, not on Roblox. Then I have the base plate part, and I say, okay, how big do I want this map to be? Because not all the time it happens, but the size of your map will determine how you build it, and how mm. you build it will determine how it's played. I say this is not the case all the time because of highway lot because. Highway lot is the biggest map in Phantom Forces. It is 1,000 studs by 975. Okay. Hmm. The average PF map is 500 by 500. Good grief, yeah. So why do I say this? Highway lot is the biggest map in PF, uh, yet it plays like very... Kind of it is very big. Space. Yeah, but like I'm in the playable area alone. I'm not oh, saying okay. the edges of the bridge or the hmm. grass fields. No, the whole playable area from the power lines down to the other highway bridge is 1000 and then from the car shop from spawn to spawn yeah from car shop to the other garage that's behind the atrium is 975 jeez yeah so highway lot is the biggest map in pf yet it plays very medium range medium to long range mm. yeah because no nowadays i see a lot of people taking the longer approach Unless oh, it's yeah. King of the Hill. Yeah. Dude, King of the Hill is so fun on that map. It's just it's, chaos. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It's it's like, okay. So, you know on Metro, uh, not Metro, on Containers King of the Hill, where everyone's just chucking nades at the hill all the time? There, it's there's that, a version but 10 with, times worse. There's a version when it is, where it is even worse. What? Is there? Yeah. How, if you look on the Halloween database, there's a map called Eye of the Storm. Yeah, Mar made, Mar made it for the Halloween 2020 update, I think. He added a vent directly on top of the hill. You could That's just exactly what I people. thought you were going to say, and I had no clue it yeah. existed. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't jump down it, but you could chuck grenades into it. That is so funny. Yeah, he did it on purpose, and I was like, Mar, don't do it. And he did it. Oh, I found this screenshot. Yeah. Here's the area of metro oh my or god that, not metro that's a highway yeah. dude i get so confused yeah wow all but, right but yeah now back on topic how you <laughs> how big you make your map is often gonna determine how it plays unless you really know what you're doing mm. let me get the wiki up for a bit because i actually need the wiki for this because i don't have the numbers off the top of my head right now okay found it Ah, oh, shit, I didn't look the size for it. God damn it. 
Uh, okay, attempt number two, Mason. I'll tell you about a favela out of bounds exploit I found. Uh, you can uh, please do tell me later. I'm cooking <laughs> right now. It was on like, the stream. I gotta cook. They exposed but, it. Yeah. So Mesa, I think Mesa is like, if I had to give a number, it's like six, seven hundred by four hundred, three hundred. It is long but thin, same as Inferno. Mm -hmm. You play Mesa, unless you exclusively go to the top towers to snipe, you're going to be playing medium to close range. Yeah. That's normally not the case, because I have Inferno being like uh, 500 by 350, I think it is. It is longer mm. than it is... It is longer than it is thicker. Okay, okay I, I have the dimensions here. Inferno 600 by 320. That is, that is quite the ratio. Thanks. Yeah. It's a two to one ratio. It's it's long, but then it's a fucking rectangle. Yeah. We need we need uh the border crossing from Call of Duty in this game. No, 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 no. I grinded out Orion mostly on that map for the RPG kills. It was shit. <laughs> so back on topic. Often how you build a map is gonna determine how you play it. For instance, uh Craneside revamp is seven. It's around seven hundred and fifty by seven hundred and fifty. Okay. You see, it has a lot of space between buildings and structures and stuff. Yeah. So people tend to play it sniper e. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have containers. Let me get the size for it's containers. Shotguns, shotguns, and shotguns. Shotguns. Uh, where's where's containers? Uh, containers is. Old, old version, the previous version to the current one, was 250 by 320. Okay. So, you can see containers is played more close range. Hmm. It's still I, a little bigger than I expected yeah. it to be. No, no, there are way smaller maps than this. Well, uh, are we counting like I the mean, Penthouse is or? fucking tiny. No, 1v1 maps are, some of them are bigger than okay. containers. Penthouse the, is tiny. Pen I think I have Penthouse here. Hold up. Yeah, I would like to know what the smallest map is. Uh, 30 by 30. It's on the utility huh. uh, database. Okay, Penthouse is 300 by 350. Okay. Oh, so it's so just a the same bit. size as container. Yeah, just a, yeah, it's no larger than containers. Huh. Like, comparatively, they are both around the same size. Hmm. But so you can see this... The first step is wanting to make sure your map is the size you can work with, because oftentimes people will make a 500 by 500 map and then um, get stuck because they cannot figure out what to do with the other empty half of the map. Mm -hmm. And so you got to make sure you keep the scale of the map in mind when you're making it. Mm. Then how you build it is going to determine how, how people play it. And for this, I'm going to bring up, uh, well, both favela, favela and Resort. Because they are pretty much opposite, even though they're kind of the same size. Yeah. So Favela, what I wanted with it was for it to be very close range, but for the street sections to be like centers, like middle range at most. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of why Favela that. has... yeah. I, I'm I'm glad I did because I did think I fucked up at first, and I did sprinkle some bits for sniping. For instance, if you check out the center lane of favela, oh you yeah, you can see yeah, you kind of have to toy around with it, but there are sections where you can snipe. Okay. But the focus of favela is middle to close, very close range. Yeah. Shit. Now we go to Resort, which is around the same size base plate wise. Both Favela and Resort were built on a 500 square stud base plate. But Favela makes full use of the 500 by 500 base plate, while half of Resort is ocean. Yeah. The other half is 350. Hmm. And you can see Resort plays very differently from Favela. What, you, what you're saying is. You find the size of the map you want, yes. and you just build it, and then well, you see how it plays a little bit, and then you modify it to what you want it to be like. 
I, I'm saying it like that because there's obviously more intricacies, of course, what shape, what kind of layout you want, where you're going to place the spawns and the objectives and how that's going to balance out. Mm -hmm. But mm. in summary, yes, you make your base plate, you pick your size, you chose, you choose how you build it, whether long or close range or whatever, and then you see how it does and then iterate on it until, hey, it's working. So it's it's... Basically, just fucking throw at throw shit at it until it works. That's my method. Yes, <laughs> that's a great method, man. <laughs> yeah, but the, um, it's it's great, but it's not the best. I would say Lith does it better than me. Mm. Yeah, he's actually taught me a lot of stuff because he does know more advanced stuff about level design and whatnot. I would say he's a professional, but I don't have any anything to back those claims. Okay, but but actually, he it, does know his stuff. A pretty funny question do you think a high skilled player could build a good map without any experience mm. it would be very very rough and for that i have the <laughs> example of intersection mm. intersection was spirals as well spirals and who else was it spirals and somebody else i don't remember their name right now but Spirals, Coda, fire trail yeah. boxes, Coda, 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 Coda. Jesus Christ, thank you. <laughs> it was it was mostly spirals on Coda trying to iterate on their own vision for Mirage. It it was it was piss poor. Oh yeah, I, I will like, I will say it no I will say it with no band aid. It was shit. <laughs> because while I do hate Mirage to this day, even if it is not cool with the kids, and Mirage's forte is having a lot of verticality. Yeah. And then I think spirals, it's its weakness. <laughs> it's no, it's its forte, funnily enough. Because Mirage doesn't offer anything when it comes to horizontality. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. So what the, what Chaos did to compensate was 10 story building everywhere. Hmm. And well, that's kind of how Mirage became what it is today. And then what I imagine. And this is gonna be you can put the slander tag on this. <laughs> Hell, you can put the fucking slander meme music on it. The spirals when he sees Mirage and bro is just like samurai slashing that shit off it. <laughs> He's playing fruit ninja yeah. with the buildings. Yeah, bro's doing the fucking anime thing where bro just flicks the sword out of the sheath and then puts it back, and then all of Mirage's buildings just come off crumbling. <laughs> That's how it feels. Yeah, That's I'm, what he looking, did. I'm looking at a screenshot of it right now. Uh, uh, for, for Mirage or for Intersection? For Intersection. Hold up, I got, I'm going to pull it up. Ooh. It looks empty. It is empty. And that's its main problem. Here's a screenshot. Yeah. Oh. I'm there, As there. you name stuff, I'm looking it up on the wiki, by the way. You're doing very well. But yeah, like <laughs> Intersection was sp a Spirals' attempt. At, at getting into map making and I will commend him because he at least try he he tried mm. he really tried and I'm I I I can I envy him for his for his bravery because I not everybody does this the I, map hell, looks I didn't even good do this. I honestly, it looks good but it looks like garbage I mm. I think I could have at least a decent time playing that map Mm, yeah, it's because yes. of the props yeah probably not <laughs> just the props it's it's spawns were very biased oh. Its spawns were very biased. Just like old Mirage. Yeah, like it had a bunch of problems that none of us were very hopeful of in Spirals and Coda fixing them. But I will commend Spirals for attempting it. Because not, e even I myself didn't start like this. So mm. it is commendable what he did. Yeah, it's. I actually never knew he did that. Yeah, it's a bold attempt. But if he wants, he can keep trying. I'll review it. I'll let, I'll, I'll, I'm willing think, to see where he goes I if he ever he wants to try again. again. Yeah, he probably is, but I'm not <laughs> one to talk about about other people <laughs> like that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Spirals, no, no, if you no, watch no. this. I didn't mean it. You're... <laughs> He's not going to watch it. He barely wanted to be there when he was on. Ah, don't yeah. say that. He was cool. But, yeah... What was the original question again? I don't if remember. A high, if a high skill uh, player could make a map? Yeah, if a high skill player could make a map. Well, 
you with need spiral... some actual mapping experience no you need more than that you need to you need to know lots of stuff mm. like i myself i'm a case of it just working out by attrition mm. because mm. When PF started taking in community maps, I wasn't even the last option. Yeah, they took in uh, hell. I said I I think I told you before we started recording that I wouldn't bring his name, so I'm gonna refer to him as W. All right. So when when I started making maps, there was W, mm -hmm. and I hate to admit it right now, but he was better than me. I still think he had better ideas than I than I do, did. But the issue was that back then there also wasn't many people. Then it then there were a lot of people with good ideas. Fire Trail W had good ideas, even if I don't like him as a person. Uh, CH, I'm also gonna call them that. All right. CH also had good ideas. Cut, and cut, that, cut that little hiccup out. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna refer to them like that because after what they did, I don't I, I don't want to name just them. Just say C or something. Yeah, C H and C H and W also had good ideas because fuck, I'm trying to remember one map that C H made besides Dunes because Dunes is definitely not a good idea. Hold on, Dunes is still in the game. D Yes, and it was Dunes. I would remove okay. it one hundred percent, not just yeah, because I hate it, but because it shouldn't be. In the I game. remember yep. playing pretty much the exact same Dunes six years ago. Yeah, I don't think I liked it what either. I, yeah, but what I hate to admit is that CH had good ideas mm. for another version of Dunes, Tundra. It's on the Christmas database if you can look it up. Okay, I'll look it up. They had good ideas. And I hate to admit it because I don't like like them as a person anymore, but they uh, they were better than me. Oh boy! Wait. Same with W. Same with There's, W. It's not as a map, Yeah, as a, as map makers, they were better than me, but as people, I fucking hate them. All right, we can we can cut that part out and like just not mention them ever again. <laughs> yeah. But uh, now, as to if a high skilled player could make a map. I doubt it. Yeah, I'm willing to. I'm willing to see their attempts. I'm very willing to see people make maps because, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be here forever. Mm -hmm. mm. But could a high skilled player make a PF map? Yes. Could it be up to the same level of quality as Desert Storm? I mm, doubt it. Mm. Man, we have so much more to talk about than I thought we did. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever you want to take it. Actually, I kind of ran out of map questions. You're you're <laughs> very very knowledgeable on this stuff. Yeah. I'm like every like third word that you that you say is just something completely new for me. I'm glad it's to hear it. Crazy man. You're just over here absorbing all of it. You're focusing uh, yeah. ideas. I'm on the wiki and I'm scrolling down the map section. <laughs> Uh, city center, black dude. City center, city center. City center is, okay, is right. ancient. Oh my it goodness! Is, it's still in the fucking test place. Yeah, and city center is is commendable in what it tries to do. It tries to be massive. That's what it tries to be. <laughs> it it is massive, but it has a reason for that because it is based off Euphrates Bridge from Modern Warfare 2019. I oh, okay. See. Yeah, like if you look at the bridge in the middle, the red bridge, you can see why. There's a there's a screenshot. <laughs> yeah, like if you compare this bridge to the one in Euphrates bridge in the original Modern Warfare 2019, you can see you can see the inspiration, you can mm. see the reference. Yeah. But then, of course, Seos did his own spin on it by adding the park and the houses. One of which, my personal belief, is that he copied the house of Michael from GTA 5. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, like, boy! Yeah, yeah, you know the house with the tennis court. Okay. Right. Yeah. My personal belief, and I have to put it on bold quotes, because this is a personal belief. It's not the belief of the studio or anybody. Mm -hmm. My personal belief is that Chaos played GTA Five and copied Michael's house to have another reference point. And this, and I, and I don't blame him because I built Venice, modeled, modeled it after 
Assassin's Creed 2's Venice. Okay. So it is an inter- city bridge. It's an interesting exper- experiment. I hope it ke- it stays on testing. I like when maps have references and stuff like that. It gives it character. Yeah. Like you resort. I don't know if something, something funny, Pudro. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of your maps have like CSGO names. <laughs> Oof. Inferno <laughs> is one. No, I mean like they have like CSGO esque name where it's just Inferno, like one Venice. like deep like like yeah. 2016 deep word type shit. Yeah, like <laughs> I think it's a sort of unintended tradition we keep mm. because there's there's a guy I work with named Dominic. He he made a couple maps named Torincon and New Bryce. Okay. I don't I don't, I, I think I butchered the pronunciation, but he he tried taking it on a different path, and the maps themselves played very interestingly for the time. So I will commend him on that. And the dude ha- has ambition because I think he's still cooking. Oh, mm. but like I think it's been a pretty much cemented tradition to just have like one word for the map name, at most two, mm-hmm. and well, you can see why containers of fund is the exception. Yeah, mm. but like. It's mostly an unintended tradition because most of us in Stylus were from the time when CSGO was popular. Yeah. I myself had a little foray into the competitive scene, trying to become a competitive player, but I, fl- I flunked. Is that a tangent we can go on? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's not much you can pry on it. I went to like one competition, folded like 14 to 16. Oh, okay. And then, and then just dropped because I had to f- focus on high school. Most of us, like the reason we use only one word at most for map names is because we came from the time when CSGO was popular and just stuck with it. <laughs> but there have been attempts to break out of it. It's commendable. Before we, we ask the, the generic questions, I got to ask you a few questions, Pudra. You go ahead. Tell us about your knife kill streak. Oh, fuck. <laughs> The 63 kill streak. Oh, oh shit. 67. 67. Like, it was 60 something. I say I put 63 here, and I think I put 60 something on the wiki because I yeah, don't I'm exactly remember, it. but I do remember very vividly it was 60 something. And it was crazy because it was back in the day when people didn't use to listen to footsteps that much. Okay. Mm. And also, Roblox sound has always been shit. And it was also back in the day when people used to snipe on Metro all the time. Yeah. What happened was we were playing King of the Hill, I think, or Team Deathmatch. I don't remember exactly. It was like I saw everyone sniping, like everyone on the other team sniping. So what I did was I ducked into the big escalators on C and then just ran up the right. <laughs> that one dude. And then I see everyone else just completely ignore the, ignore the kill feed. And I just go like, uh, how to describe it? So uh, it, it was just like that one scene of the, that one meme of the Grim Reaper knocking on the door. Mm. It was just like, hello, backstabbed, hello, backstabbed, hello, backstabbed, backstabbed, so, over and over again. And then I ducked underground. Guess I, what I, the record kills game for the knife is? What? Which one? Hundred and something? Sixty-three. There's no fucking way. Yeah. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> like, I refuse to believe any weapon has l- a record of less than 100 kills in one match. Uh, most melees no. have only 50. Yeah. The... Like, knowing the CEOs, because I did hold a record in there for a while, knowing them, I hope they break it, if it is real. I'm going to doubt you on that. I'm going to press X to doubt on my keyboard right now for it that. It is since May of this year. 1st of May. There's no fucking way, bro. Mm, the guy got 63 on knife, 60 on tanto, and 57 on trench knife. Bro, on someone got to break that record now because I don't want to hold that record. <laughs> <laughs> you're tied for the record. Actually, you're not tied for the record. You got the record like years no, before. No, like I wouldn't say I'm tied for it because, again, I only have my word to back it up. Mm-hmm. I could very well be wrong. So that's why, I, and that's why I don't want the record. I don't deserve it. Well, I mean, you, your low end of what you think the record is is tied for it. So, yeah, but like again, 
since I only have my word and I don't actually have a picture of it, <laughs> I, I don't want it. I don't deserve it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking real. at I was looking at your uh, wiki page and I was like, that's a crazy fucking kill streak. <laughs> it was insane. Like I tell, I, tell, I tell you what happened with 16 people. I did that shit almost four times. Dude, I like, couldn't like, even do that with a gun. Yeah, that's that's just the, the quirky question I wanted to ask you. Also, why is the Hattori your favorite melee? Because I like katanas and I like kill ah, that's fair. That is that, that is fair. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh, you made cases, right? Yeah, that does. Trend, What's the? Yeah. That's good. What's the process for that? <laughs> uh, you go into Photoshop or GIMP or Krita or whatever. Yeah. You make a thousand by a thousand square texture. Make sure that when you make a, a pattern or something that you can tile it, as in lay down the texture side by side on every side, and there's no mm. visible seams. Okay. You make you make that process like sixteen to twenty four times. And then you go to Sid and say, "Hey, Sid, uh, can we maybe have these as skins in the game?" Haha. <laughs> so, like, you add a full case at once. Yeah. Well, I did with Mar. And so, one it's with not. W. It's not something like we have this case. Let's add like this new skin to it. It's just let's just add this case. Yeah, and it, this is actually related to the creator case, mm. because the creator case is the only exception we have. Oh. Okay. Well, we I had, understand. we had, because we're no longer adding any skins to it. Yeah. But what happens with cases is that we either have Sumerican, who's the dev liaison. You know them as dev on the server. If you want to have a reference for what they made, just put on the anti-site. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So we, uh, we either ask them to make a bunch of textures for a case or Anybody could make a collection of seamless textures and then bundle them up. And then if they want, they can ask either any contributors or go to dev directly and ask, oh. hey, can we maybe have this as a case? So theoretically, if I were to open up Photopea. Uh, do try to stay within fair use and all that yeah. legal stuff. And obviously don't break Roblox TOS. Yeah. But it's because not, it's we not know to just contributors or things like that. Like if you put in the yeah, effort, it's, not, a possibility. it's not just contributors. Yeah, if you put in the effort, it's a possibility. Oh, we okay. will see it and we will forward it. Oh. PF has had one issue with fair use, and they have never <laughs> gone back. <laughs> and then they just cracked down on that. There was <laughs> yeah, we have had many. We have had many. But I, I don't think I can talk about many of those. Yeah, I, the the one we heard about was the ice morn. Oh yeah, the ice morn was insane. <laughs> Yeah, I I heard it took little four hours to get it fixed. Like uh, it, it, it was he that made long. a whole other weapon. No, it was Shay who made the other sword, but it, it oh. was funny as fuck because we were just like chilling, and then Lido says, "Hey, yo, who the fuck let this model get in?" And we were like, "Huh?" huh? And then somebody and then somebody clued Mar in into it being stolen from another oh, game. Yeah, and then Mar was like, "Ah, shit." And then Shay was like, I hold up. Four hours later, he has a new sword. <laughs> it was very funny. But like, I, I, I guess... It sounds like I it was a it. crazy PR disaster. Eh, it sounds like that, but it wasn't. It was just a hiccup. Mm. Nah. There, like, trust me, you say this, but I can tell you, we actually got approached by Glock once, the actual company behind the Glock pistols. Really? They approached us. Yeah, that's why the Glocks are named G7 something. Oh, oh. fuck off. Yeah, of course they, it was they Glock. Got approached, yeah, they got approached by Glock and said, hey, this is a trademark, bro. And, and they said, okay, I, cool. Okay, uh, all right, G. <laughs> G. Yeah, G. And... Did they... I think the, I think this is in the wiki too. Like the reason why why we did this. Let me let me look it up because I think somebody put it on the wiki the reason once. Reason I... why we did. Glock is like, hey, I see you guys are chill and everybody's leaving you alone. How would I change yeah. that? <laughs> oh, there yeah. is a page for Glock seventeen that redirects to G seventeen. Yeah, like that's the main reason why the Glocks cannot be named Glock because it's a legal issue. It's a trademark. Yeah, same with the Remingtons. I, I believe I we don't have I don't have a reason. Only Shay knows why we don't have Remington on the R eight seventy and the R seven hundred anymore. 
Okay. Or just R? Yeah, we don't have those. I, I would believe it's a legal issue, but I, I'm not really sure. I feel like there's a possibility I might know, but I'm also completely theorizing and I'm probably dead wrong. Yeah, yeah, like we, we're we better off just Let not guessing. Be, yeah. yeah, letting it be. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. All right, that does that transfers perfectly into another question we've got written down. So since you've pretty much encompassed the full spectrum minus um, I minus, believe, guns. Uh, minus guns, yeah, how is it trying to transfer knowledge from the different practices and trying to put them into uh, put them into use, making other things? Well, I think it's it's weird because you if you learn map making. Many of the things you learn for map making, you can then specialize into to make something else. For instance, if you if you make a custom texture for a brick, you can then specialize into making textures and make skins. Mm -hmm. Or if you specialize into making meshes for, say, a car or a custom roof or a prop or whatever, you can then specialize into it to make melees. And then if you specialize even further, you can make guns. Mm. Okay. So, but like how difficult it is, it depends on how willing you are to put in the time to specialize into what comes to it. Because if you want to just do map making and map making only, you're going to find it a very shallow pool. Is there like one discipline that's harder than the others? I mean, there's a very clear answer there, but like modeling. for the people who are modeling, listening. Modeling, 100%. Jesus Christ, modeling. <laughs> I still struggle to this day, both for PF and out of PF for my own content creation endeavors mm. because I had a stream when I was working on my own VTuber model. Uh, I was trying to model a scarf for it. It took me three hours trying to huh. even get it to work. And even then it, it looks so garbage that I just scrapped it. Hmm. So my current model only has like a plate beanie and nothing else. Everything else is just prefabs. Oh, you said you would made character models. Well, uh, yeah, the character models are uh, yeah. sort of interdiscipline because right now what I do, well, what I quote unquote do, because it's not like we do it much nowadays, is we have a sort of repository. Well, we have, I say, but it's a file that I can just forward to anyone else in the, in the stylus chat for staff you know mm -hmm. yep so we have this r6 rig and then we just like make a texture for the uniform then for what for stuff like hats or whatever we model it very low poly because it has to be low poly it has to be low poly because it will replicate 32 times yeah optimization so it yeah. Up, for optimization it has to be a low polygon count Especially if you want to have like multiple accessories, like a vest or a hoodie or a mask or a, a backpack. Like, uh, let me get a picture for you because I have a file exclusively for character designs. Time to wait for studio to update for the 14th time this day. <laughs> this is one thing I hate of studio. It has to reinstall itself from scratch every single time. Oh. Yeah, like I probably have 14 separate versions of Roblox Studio that don't have anything different between them. <laughs> All because Roblox's studio update thing is very, very sloppy. But like if you played on Halloween 2023, I think you'll recall that the mm, player models were a pirate costume and someone with a ghost mask, right? Oh, uh, I have no idea. I, I have never played during those up updates, actually. Uh, hold up. I'll get you the picture of it. My memory is too garbage anyway. Uh, open from thought, though. Sorry, I had to burp. And uh, scrolling up. Experimentation thingy. So... Let me find the funny. Here it is. Up. Oh. He found the funny, guys. Yeah. Funny has been encountered. Let's go! So... So let me get a good angle on them without leaking anything I'm currently working on. <laughs> uh, if you check the one channel where the screenshots are. Yep. Oh my gosh, it's Shy Guy from Super Mario. 
Yeah, I I knew someone was gonna say that, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> it's just the first thing actually, my brain defaults to. Yeah, I actually modeled it after the ghost face mask from yeah. the Scream movies. Yeah, when, yeah, I, that's when I actually look design, at it, that that's pretty cool. Evident, that but... scarf design would have been so fucking hard to play on. Like yeah. you, you can't tell enemies from allies. I mean, the one's doing damage to you, one's not. <laughs> I mean, the, I would say there's a good contrast between them because you know you have the guy that's gonna rob you and the homeless guy with the hat. Oh wait, yeah. no, those are two different teams on the same event. Yeah. Oh. The, okay. The guy on the right yeah, the guy with the with the pirate patch is the phantom sky. And the guy oh. with the mask is the ghosts. One looks like a political extremist and one looks like a colonial LARPer. <laughs> Cause like my only exposure to those uh character models were from the winter what is it? What's the name of the update? No, they're from they're from the uh you mean the the hood on the left is reused from the Squid Game thing from okay, Squid that's Game. Right, the Squid Game. Right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, right. the one on the right is fully custom. Okay. Well, fully custom except for the scarf, which is reused from one of the other winter outfits. Okay. But everything else, the eye patch and the outfit itself are custom. Now, on the guy on the left, everything except the mask is reused. Hmm. Mm. Because the pants you see here are the ones that the models, the player models were wearing on the New Year's lobby. Oh, okay. Mm. And oh, the lobby. vest is the one from uh, the one with the broken down subway station with the funny music. Yeah, Pacific Cold Front Part 3 is the one you're looking for if you're looking for the. Man, we need models. more of those updates. We would, but we're currently undergoing the one anime arc where the protagonist loses something very important and now they have to introspect <laughs> <laughs> yeah like yeah. We, I, if i had to give any any opinions on the current situation we are we on introspection mode bro let us cook it's just right, the, so it's just a silence like good things are happening we'll, please we'll let you cook we good things are happening yes but i cannot talk about them i've cut, been hearing cut, a lot of good things cut what we're about to say what i'm about to say I don't know. We'll see. Um, we, we've, we've heard a, a little bit. We've had a, a few teasers from uh, other contributors. Oh. So. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. We've the, got. We got a couple. Well, little... If it is, if it is the M60 remodel and the AK remodel. No. I, those, no those. I think oh, those then... are pretty, like, pretty open. I think. Yeah. Those are pretty public. Yeah. But anything else, I'm I'm not gonna yeah. confirm much. Yeah. I'm not gonna say much. And then I, I'm not going to tell you who or what because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I, but, I, can, uh, I, can, I can assume who it was. But uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm very excited for yeah. what's coming up. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good update. <laughs> you guys got this shit. Yeah, we got. We, we, I would say we're cooking. Uh, you guys are if nobody definitely else says cooking. It to your face, we have faith in you and we're excited. Thank <laughs> you. Has this, like, Actually, nah, that's not a good question. I'm you couldn't <laughs> even fucking answer it. You just vetoed your own question. No, like it's because it's it's like fucking dude, like it's a secret, it's a question on classified shit. He's oh. not gonna answer it. No, no, uh, Mr. It, Mr. Mr. CIA, I can. can you tell me about deep state secrets? <laughs> I was fucking Fingers I was gonna together. ask you like a like a <laughs> does the, the secrecy behind updates before they come out, like does it affect like a con contributor role no what? like yeah. like we we keep it secret out of our own volition but nah. for some information we do have an agreement with the devs to not say anything mm. i won't is tell there you like a, is there like a previous like example that came out that you have or something uh if i had to say anything <laughs> no not really <laughs> not really no your name's like, on the list now no, nothing like, that's been secret was revealed. <laughs> no, like nothing that we have kept secret has ever been leaked before time. Mm. All right. Well, then I'm definitely going to do everything in my power to not be the first person that does that. Yeah, let's not let's, be uh, them. I'm just going to delete yeah. a couple of images just in case. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do you legit si Okay, country. What? No, I haven't saved anything. Okay. That'd be stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh... I think uh, it's time for the generic questions. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, you you go, country. I spoke way too much today. 
<laughs> okay. No, I really did. Uh, we can we can save the fifth question for last since it's the least on topic. Um, yeah. So we've been citing the wiki and talking about the wiki a lot this entire time. And I'm sure a lot of people who don't really pay attention to the wiki don't know how involved you are with it. Um, what, so like how much we can go off of on average or we can go like prime kind of putting time into it. How much effort or time does it usually take to really make well, sure the wiki is updated and reliable? I put I make sure to put uh, to put aside ten minutes a day nowadays to keep articles up to date, keep the formatting nice. But on prime time, like when I when I'm on a free schedule and I don't have anything to do, mm -hmm. I go on the wiki and can put like four eight hours into just updating stuff. Jeez, that's actually your hobby. <laughs> it's my hobby. Dude's pulling shifts <laughs> at the wiki factory. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> How how is it like? Is it like it's, out of date or? Uh, it is sort of up to date because there are missing articles. For instance, I think the bar and the H car both don't have an advanced stats page. <gasps> so that's something I got to get on top of. Uh, and there are many guns that are missing the advanced stats page, mostly the newer, newer guns. Yeah, that's a lot of information they have to do. Yeah, like I can date, especially now, and I and like the framework update did throw off a lot of stuff because now uh, with the way recoil works, I would have to go through every single gun in the game and just erase stuff. Same oh. with the suppressors section on certain gun articles because those are from like 2015, back when suppressors used to alter damage. Okay. Yeah. I, I though that's also something out of date. Uh, the map template is also out of date. I gotta work on that. I gotta work on that. Sorry. Anything else? Uh, nothing. Like mostly gun stuff is what is out of date the most yeah. because guns change all the time. Same with conversions. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. I, I I really thought you were gonna be like. Yes, I'll just try it. Like prime time, I'll try and put like three hours into it. <laughs> you no, are going prime full, time, I put, full shifts. Yeah, full four eight hours. <laughs> four four eight hours because prime time for me is when I genuinely don't have anything to do. Like no maps, no shit on YouTube, no no nothing. We got to start paying more attention to the wiki just to. Yeah, I I've been on it right. since we started, and it's still scrolling. Yeah, right now don't right now I wouldn't say it's worth it unless you really want to have a deep dive into stuff like melees or maps or the list of conversions. Okay. I love I love being in the information page going to the mechanics category and it's just a soda can. <laughs> oh, it's a very good example on how bullets work. Well, and not just bullets, collisions too work. You have a reason behind it too. <laughs> no, I, I didn't make that one. Like that one was from before I was the only person running the wiki. There's some other people that do contribute to the wiki on the daily. They, mm. they help me a lot because they do make sure to get good pictures and keep the information on, and well, they keep, keep the information up to date if I cannot out of, out of their own volition. So I'm thankful for them. Mm. But yeah, nowadays the wiki is a shadow of what it used to be. Mm. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. Yeah. I feel like the era of game wikis is kind of fading. Yeah, but like, it's also good to keep it around just for the sake of information. Yeah, especially the people that default to wikis and aren't on the Discord and don't know about Literally. any of the sheets. It's a good, it's a good baseline. It's, it's a good place. It's a good place to start. Yeah. It's not the best place, especially if you're looking for meta builds. You're not going to find them in the wiki. That's not what a wiki should be about anyway. No. It, yeah, that's right. Like, if you go to the wikis because you want to know something about a certain gun or a, yeah. or a certain map, yeah. but you're not going to find meta builds. That would also be hell on earth to update. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, definitely. That would not be worth the effort. It certainly wouldn't be worth the effort. Are you still scrolling? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like, fun fact, the list of conversions on the wiki is bigger than the entire source code of Call of Duty 4. 
Wait, wait, wait. Holy! Shut the frick up. No. Yes, like if you open the list of conversions on Source View, it has like 5,000, 6,000 lines. Call of, Duty, Call of Duty 4 had up to 4,000 lines of code. You're right. Um, holy shit. This page is, is immense. It is immense. And I, it's, I started it as a joke, but then I got serious with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that like a little quote for the thumbnail. The wiki is bigger than COD. Bro, you yeah. included every single gun in its own square. Yes. Because it's almost it's almost like there's a gun per, a, a gun per conversion instead of a conversion per gun. Hmm. Isn't that the same? Well, no. It's, it's not just conversions because some of them are actually read chambers instead of conversions. Mm. Like you just put a different bullet in and it works. I mean, technically, mm. a rechamber is you're converting the gun to fire that thing. I mean, they're... not really, because uh, you know the NTW twenty by one ten. Yeah, mm. it can fire it by default. You can just put it in and it will work. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Same with the other and two conversions. It'll, it has. it'll yeah, rifle it will fire correctly. Us. Yeah, it will, yeah, it will rifle correctly. It will, it will fire what? correctly. So it's like a five five six two two three situation. Yes, hmm. literally, exact same. Interesting. Yep, because the NTW is a crew weapon. It's not a sniper rifle. Yeah. But there, you're that missing your FT300. Come on. It waits. No, the FT300 is actually conversions. Yeah, I know, but it says coming soon on the wiki. Oh, no. <laughs> that that one is its own special case because I haven't been able to get to it yet. <laughs> but for, uh, for the wiki, I do spend... 10 minutes a day on normal days, and then prime time is just eight, four to eight hours. Mm. I would not have the patience for that. Props to you. Yeah. Like, I just like typing. You should consider, uh, yeah, you should consider writing books. <laughs> he no. did. It's called the Phantom Forces Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> the Phantom Forces Wiki. Oh, man. You, you... I'm still scrolling. <laughs> like... It's Bruh. you did a great job on this shit. There, I'm sad that there are no credits at the bottom of this page. No, there there aren't. Like I think the closest you'll get to credits is if you go to up to the top again and hit and history. The, you can see everyone yeah, the history. It. Yeah. Wait, there's actually like people. No, there's one dude posting on the wiki. David RGD. No, in the last day he posted like a billion things. Uh, you mean Matthews? Jessica. Uh, who? <laughs> Just go on the wiki and go to discuss. Uh, I, I don't really check the discuss for him, but okay. He said a slur. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> Jesco is the guy. Yeah, the very last post he made. Oh, hold up. We getting people banned in this one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see him. <laughs> this one's going straight to the delete. Ban hammer. <laughs> yeah. Man, I have a piece of internet history on my monitor right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll screenshot this so I'll never forget it. <laughs> the man who thought he could escape. Yeah, bro, thought, um, bro thought he was onto something. He even bypassed the fucking thing. Yeah. God damn. All right, well... Do, do so many fucking loops to just get through the filters at times. It's, it's, it's honestly funny. Yeah, like, you know you can't type this. Why are you still doing it? All right, I think... Uh, I think that's I it think... for that tangent. Yeah. Yeah. We can we into the... Uh, Unless Keita has more questions or you have other things I, you talk about. I really don't. I think... You want to... I think we covered absolutely everything. Yeah, it seems it, to be. Is, it seems to be a running theme with this question. This, <laughs> this last one. Yeah, I we ask that to absolutely everyone. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I usually ask it because everybody we everybody we've had on has such, had such different roles that it's always a different answer. I know, right? Um, I'm sure you'll also have a different answer. Yeah. Uh, what's your personal experience with content creation for phantom forces 
Oof. Oh fuck. Either <sighs> from a creator or a viewer. You it I can have be to either. Say it or. As, I have to say it as both because I have been both. Mm -hmm. I am mm. both. Because as a creator, it's a nightmare to make content for Phantom Forces. Okay. Like at some point you realize that you can only make so many loadout videos or so many funny haha scripted videos like corny and chicken bot used to do mm -hmm. or you can only make so many in-depth analysis or of guns or maps or whatever yeah at some at some point you you run out and then you burn out because you keep iterating on the same thing over and over and over again which i i would say is something that some steven is having right now <laughs> yeah something I see that strider is something that strider some steven and moon fps are probably struggling with is just iterating over the same topic over and over and over again mm -hmm. because the difference between these is that strider actually has other channels with other things on them well, yeah and i comment i commend him for trying to get out of of pf trying to branch out yeah, he's trying to sneak he's out. trying so hard to get away from it yeah like i commend him because pf is is a short-term gold mine of content mm. because once you run out of your niche you start bleeding into the same other niches that people started touching in. Mm -hmm. And it happened to Oscar because Oscar used to be like, I caught him on his phase of making update videos. And then he started making worst to best videos. Mm -hmm. And then bro just started streaming and then he fizzled out, disappeared. Mm. Then Strider, sort of the same story started with tops and worst to best videos and that type of shit mm -hmm. he's still doing that the, yeah he's still doing it but nowhere near he nowhere near like he used to before so i will say he fizzled out and dipped well dipped as in branched out but you get the idea yeah mm. then i think the same happened with god status god status was a uh, god status was crazy synthesize og Petrify TV, uh, Snowy, even if Snowy rarely posts nowadays, Paradox Pokey. Mm. Who's the good ending? Who got the good ending, yeah. I will say. Oh, yeah, he oh, found yeah. Jesus. Yeah, he found Jesus. I'm, I'm, I was listening to your last po podcast on him before. <laughs> I, I'm actually happy he, he went the way he, he went. Yeah, it's a really, yeah, that's I, a really I, cool I, I wish him all the best. Yeah, I wish him all the best, for real. But like um, Paradox Pokey, Petrify, Solitude, uh, P Paradox Tommy, all of the Paradox people, really. I literally only heard about Pokey before because I think I think he was the most popular. He was the most popular. He was like Paradox Incarnate. Like Paradox Pokey before was literally the entire YouTube system of Phantom Forces to himself. Yeah, well, he was until Synthesize got big and mm. then he dipped it too. But well, he dipped because bad business started slowly gaining momentum, and so he stuck with bad business. Oh, same with Petrify, and same with Agent John too. Although I do know J Agent John too dipped because he had to do other stuff in his life. I know that Oscar tried bad business for a while with Petrify. Yeah, Oscar tried bad business and Frontlines, and then he uh, he just had the Thanos moment of. Where did all that take you? Back to me. <laughs> mm. And I think, what's the Clunker? I think is his name. Yeah. Clunk. Uh, what's uh, K uh, K L U N K E R? Yeah, it doesn't pull up anything on YouTube. Uh, hold up. Uh, shit. What's his name? Where is he, bro? I do. Ah, uh, Clinger H Q. Clinger H Q. Found him. Okay. With K at the start, I, I I'll link it on the chat oh, on the text channel. Are. Yeah, Klinger quit. Uh, bearded muscle used to be somebody who streamed PF frequently. I don't know if they still if they are even around anymore. I I've uh, heard he's doing other things. I'm glad he is. Uh, obviously spirals, but spirals is the evergreen of PF streaming. <laughs> What do you mean by that? He's there because he's been he's been doing PF stuff for a long while. Mm. Like I would say he was around back back when I was first joining the PF Discord. Mm. But he's been around for a very long while. He knows a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
Fantix, Fantix is sort of recent-ish because they were here before, and then they dipped, and then they came back. Obviously, Corny, but Corny is just doing variety Roblox content. Mm -hmm. hmm. Chickenbot is maybe doing a comeback. I don't know. Uh, there was uh, Nerd Rider, I think was their name. Denian Rider. Denian Rider was also very good. They used to make very good video video essays, but I think they dipped too. Okay. Video essays on Phantom Forces? Uh, yeah, I think he did. I don't remember really. Wait, hold on. Tell me the name again. Denian Rider. D D E N I A N. Yeah, Rider. Rider. Uh, I can't find him. Yep. Yeah, like if I can find a link, I'll, I'll I'll send it. Uh. Besides them, some Steven is sort of recent-ish. And then there's Country, who's the most recent I've seen. Kita's, uh, Kita's newer than I am. I have mm. never seen Kita. I have never seen Kita. I'll say it I, right now. I know. I, I don't make videos. videos I just, you gotta do I, videos. All I do is I stream. I'm telling you. But yeah, like if I had to say some, what my views on PF content creation is as a creator, is that it is a short term gold mine. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like, if you're going to make videos on PF, do everything you can. But the moment you think to yourself, I'm going to just make another top five, or I'm going to just make another best to worst, or I'm going to just do another top 10 tips for movement or whatever. When you reach that moment, branch out immediately. Yeah. Mm. Go look for another game instantly because otherwise you're gonna burn out and you're gonna or fizzle you, out. Or you can do like country and make a one tutorial on how to make credits and build your entire channel off of that for humor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have gone I have come into this with no illusions of this being a long term thing. I'm here to try and help when I can and I'm gonna try and have fun while I can. I'm just here to show people that I play some games. Yeah, like PF is a is a good platform to start learning how to make content. And content as it for content creation, but it's not good long term. Mm. Yeah, it's not good long term. I you can use Roblox. it to start yourself. No, Roblox is very good for content creation. Really? Unironically, like Roblox is so varied, you could mm, probably get to mm, to a very good subscriber count if you main Roblox. I mean, there's Flamingo, and I, other people. yeah, I, okay, you're right. Never yeah. mind. There's Robin Sim. <laughs> There's Robin Sim. So, yeah, Roblox definitely is its own creature when it comes to content creation. But, like, PF is merely a stepping stone hmm. on a bigger ladder. PF is. Now, that's my it. point. Yeah, that's my point of view as a content creator, as someone who makes videos and streams and shit. As a viewer, it's. The magic is lost. It's over. <laughs> We're cooked. It's guys. gone. Yeah, because I think at this point the PF content creation sphere, with the except with the occasional exception of countries podcast and maybe Moon FPS's videos, maybe and the occasional update video that it sort of cooks. I would say is like everything has been done. Yeah, it's it's just yeah, fallen but, into a formula now. Yeah, it's become a it's become formulaic, yeah. predictable. Like, sure, Corny could try pulling up with more skits, and we would laugh for like five minutes before we move on to the next thing. Spirals can keep streaming if he wants, and I hope him. I wish can him keep getting records. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The CEOs can keep getting records and making funny kill montages or whatever it is that CEOs do nowadays. I really miss the. I, I, okay. Well, pun not intended, but I missed the bar on doing that with the BAR. <laughs> Shut the fuck uh, up. No, hey, <laughs> hold on. I was going to say that sentence completely, not even trying to make. The pun about missing the bar. I missed the bar on I the just BAR. Caught I caught it as I was saying it. Okay. <laughs> I prefaced yeah, but... it, and you still came after me, man. I yeah. that was that's so wacky. I didn't even hear the rest of what you said. Can you repeat? <laughs> no. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, but like, 
content creation uh, from a viewer's point it's become formulaic now one more i will add is as a contributor how do i see content creation it's become a clan system fair right yeah. right yeah i i feel the same yeah because there's this click clicks of people i will say there it, it's like very weird 100%. they all know each other and they interact they, they with know each, each other. other they are in service with each other and they prop each other up I would yeah say, they really do nobody wants yeah, to make friends much in the content creator groups you know country we're doing kind of the same thing you and i yeah well, like, we're at least trying to pull people in yeah you're yeah I, I i commend you for it you're doing the you're doing the attempt and i wish you the best with it thanks but like that. i will say unless you unless you have more people that you can connect with everyone is their own island some steven yeah. i doubt i doubt he even he even has much contact with people like strider or oscar he's not Dude, even in the snowy he's snowy not even is open. snowy yeah. isn't even contactable it's, no i, snowy I isn't snowy contactable pretty anymore pretty he's pretty snowy cool. is, snowy has their own discord and they answer the youtube comments kind of kind of often but snowy's snow is his own island at this point he's uh, he's a cool guy yeah like they are islands but when i say oscar or spirals or nap the moderator mm -hmm. or spezzy or coda all of those are their own fucking continent i need i need to get on oscar's shit neb is I swear to neb God. is one of the most active people amongst other people's groups i mean yeah. Yeah, he is, but he's he also a like stylist for staff. Spirals. Yeah, he's a moderator for spirals. He's moderator everywhere in the fucking yeah. community. Yeah, he's like a middleman, I yeah. would say. But like, this is getting to me sort of slandering them because it, it <laughs> may come off as me trying to make up some sort of shadow government conspiracy, <laughs> like Tyler, who, t which by the way, Tyler's also in cahoots with spirals and everyone else oh yeah <laughs> the yeah, earth is 100 i know forces yeah, character no, that's, how I, that's, how I, uh, that's how i actually learned who he was he joined my server really early on and then spirals dragged me into a vc and tyler was in there was like oh <laughs> i didn't even know yeah, but like it's it's an like separate content creators like some steven snowy uh maybe moon fps too you you yourself country and Klinger, maybe they are all their own island in in the vast sea of what is the internet and then there's this continent that's like the what i'm gonna call the pf pro player community mm. oh yeah that no that's very accurate actually yeah like they all know each other they all stream sometimes with each other they they go for records they they pro they gas each other up they prop each other up mm -hmm. mm. and as a contributor, I see the ecosystem of content creation and I fear for what will happen if at some point any of these people like really get well feel insulted or called out or whatever. Mm. You think it's because gonna create drama? It's gonna it's one hundred percent gonna create drama. Hell, what I'm saying right now is probably gonna steal. It's a up warning some drama for the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, it's a, this is for uh, this is for when you release this, and I'm gonna say this explicitly. Keep it on the final take for Sunday. Okay. What I'm saying is 100% gonna inflame drama. Hmm. Yeah, because I do feel like they. I I I say they're. I would say they're like a fraternity. No, yeah, that's a pretty good description of it. Yeah. Well, if if that's if that's gonna reassure yeah, and, you, I'm pretty and, sure that and, none of them. None of those high skill players in those continents ever fucking watched this. <laughs> well, they don't, but like they're gonna hear we, about we it. We contributors, they are gonna hear it. They are gonna ah, hear it I because see. they they always have the the middleman to the middleman to the middleman that links them. This kind or of stuff. I am. It's just like, hey, they said this about yeah. my favorite person. Yeah, I've played that role myself. I link videos that I find interesting on PF to our staff chat, and we watch them. And we comment on them. Hmm. So know for a fact we are watching. <laughs> so it is a shadow, shadow government. government too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a shadow government because well, it's theoretically, an actual government. Theor well, actual government sort of like 
it would i don't even know if shadow government would be a correct description because it's kind of what it's kind of helping i would say because the devs see the videos too and they put their opinions to us for um, from it when i say that as a contributor that helps with the game what my vision of pf is that i'm worried because there's this very clear clique that has formed around the game mm -hmm. that's yeah. very elitist very toxic has a lot of vitriol oh yeah yeah like you tell them that Metro sucks or whatever, they are going for you. They are they're <laughs> they're gonna say shit about you. You're gonna you're gonna look like the certain mustache guy that got rejected from our school in the rice, probably. Yeah. Mm. Well, not for spirals, because spirals is kinda chill, sorta. Spirals but is like, chill. Yeah, spirals is sorta chill. He, I, well H, H he does knows that when he knows when to throw a hand. <laughs> Yeah, H does that to you. As far as this chill, but if I had to speak, I had to make wait, you said H does yeah. that, dude. Dude, yeah. every single fuck, every single motherfucker we have on this podcast it's is gonna say, joke. is gonna. I know, I know, but like every single podcast episode, we have to say spiral old, spirals old. Yeah, every time. Yeah, he's yeah, his veterans. He has earned them that that inside joke but i digress if i had to make a blanket statement on what is the continent cabal whatever if i had to make a, com a blanket statement on the fraternity that is the pro player community for phantom forces is that mm -hmm. there's a lot of vitriol there's a lot of toxicity and they i will say sometimes they come off as as if they believed they know what's best for the game just because they've been playing it for a while Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they think that because they've been playing for six, seven, eight years, they suddenly by osmosis gain the knowledge on how the code of the game works yeah. and how the map making process is and how the sound making process is and how to make cases and assets and everything. Just because they've been playing for all this time, they suddenly believe that they can make the game better themselves. Yeah. Mm. And like, they they i believe that they have this that idea that i just mentioned ingrained in their brain as just a circle jerk between mm. all of them and that's that's what concerns me the most that if you try to to, to break them out of it they, they go they on just, your, they yeah, go they on just, defensive yeah. exactly i've so i've seen that a few times that's my personal experience with content creators as a viewer we need to start diversifying as a creator PF needs to do more to make the the game more durable, content friendly, long yeah, content friendly long term. Mm -hmm. Because this is something I'm gonna say comparing PF to Hell Divers, even though they are nowhere near the same league. But the reason Hell Divers is more sustainable long term is because Hell Divers is effectively a DND game. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, and you can just keep streaming week after week checking the progress of the major order and whatnot meanwhile in pf you make a short burst of streams covering weapon metas and skins and the occasional update video one or two and then you hit a wall and then it dies so pf needs to do more for long-term content creation yeah, or think... you just stream for three months straight yeah and become spirals too I, think, I okay okay regardless of what people think of him or it i think tyler bringing up the uh community server browser the community server like being able to make community servers or custom servers i Oof. do think that would be one of the best possible ways to take that step towards yeah and that's kind of what the purpose longevity. yeah that's one of the that was actually one of the purposes behind the server browser because Lido had the intention no. And I think if you if you use the server browser early on, you would see that there were these favorites and friends yeah. options on the top before they got cold, mm -hmm. because that was the intention. But then they they had to optimize. They had to cut off what they couldn't do. Same with the equipment tab. Man, yeah, I remember when that server browser first came out. I remember there were actual like custom. I remember playing a hundred player gun game. On yeah, you maps. can still you can still play one hundred player gun game if you get into the unstable build. Yeah, I remember. You I remember a whole slew gun, game, of gun games servers. on there. Yeah, like 
this server browser is a step in that direction of making community servers and i hope one day we can get to it yeah that would be a huge i think that that would revitalize quite a few different things it would be its own it would be like the invention of the printing press yeah yeah like 10k players again mm, probably I think, 10k yeah. players because then all of a this sudden the hey, dude come play this or hey like there'd be yeah, a lot because of... the one of the impediments for pf right now is that we still are working out well we're still cooking the what i'm gonna call the inside situation we're still recovering because you don't just lose three contractors in a row and expect everything to work fine. Mm. So we're still recovering. We're still trying to figure out everything, what the role of contributors is, what the contractor is, what the role of the contractor is. We're still trying to rediscover, redefine, if we haven't defined it yet. We're trying to define and redefine what what the purpose of everything is, what, what cogs go in what part of the machine that keeps Phantom Forces running. Mm. And besides that, there's the development of Core Fidelis. Mm. So imagine having to do all of the shit I just said while also diverting time. Also to making a whole game. ass new game. Yeah. So you can see why we haven't been as, as frequent as we used to be with updates, not that we really were frequent. Because month, month up, monthly updates is good, but it's not ideal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but weekly updates would be asking for too much. That'd be a lot. Especially oh, yeah. now. Absolutely. Yeah, so redis redefining, figuring out the whole internal situation is one thing we are concerned with. Then second off, there's code limitations we have to worry about still. Mm -hmm. You know what I think would be a good like idea? for weekly updates hit me hit me i f i feel like something that would be low effort and very high reward would be like very minor balance changes well we do that darkman's like, doing it but like we still have the whole inside situation yeah. to figure that out yeah i know i know it takes a That's lot of time weekly updates for ba balance patches and whatnot would be the best case scenario mm -hmm. but right now it's still up in the air until we can we until we finally have our stuff figured out and we can finally start cooking for real. It's gonna be a while. Well, the fact that it's noticed and it's it's an, a problem you're aware of and it's being worked on. That's at least yeah. we at least know it's heading in a good direction. Then, yeah, like we are we are completely aware that we are. Well, I will I will say the word slacking, but I we haven't slacked. It's just that we. At least in my personal opinion, we aren't going at a pace I would personally like. You're aware there's a block that needs to be fixed. Yeah, we are aware there's something we need to fix. It's just that as a studio, my opinion is that we cannot get to fix it just yet. That's fair. But we are working on it. Like the maps, the map staleness, the map database and everything with maps, we are working on it. We are aware. The issues with balancing, we are aware we have someone that's aware and we are working on it we like the content in general we we have stuff prepared that i cannot tell you about and that you, somebody else probably told you about we are we are working on it and we are working on ways to get it to the game but as of right now we are still working on our internal situation well i hope that goes well for everyone because uh it's from what i've heard it's been very hard it has been hard and uh if it goes well i think uh, the community is going to greatly benefit from it yeah like these last two years ever since the whole mars stuff it's been difficult hmm. yeah because i said it before i joined back in the early days of pf everyone i knew from back then has has since left entirely or has been banned <laughs> yeah it, it kind of is like that with the community, huh? <laughs> yeah, like it's insane because I still remember the the first time I made a map. I it was a laughing stock for for the moderation moderation bat, team back then. I still remember they they were probably laughing, and now to think that every single person that laughed at at me back then is now banned 
or left. Literally, yeah, fuck no, you, no, nerds. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, not fuck you, nerds. Because, like, to be honest, I don't blame them. In retrospect, it was goofy as fuck <laughs> to make a twenty thousand part map and expect to go into the game with with something so poor. You know, no offense to the other two people that helped me with it, by the way. You know what you should do? Yeah. You should find it and make a video on it, laughing at it. No. No, <laughs> I, I think it's best I just let it rest. Yeah. Not just for my sake. <laughs> Dying peace. Yeah, yeah. It, no, it's already dead because the two people that helped me with it have also moved on from PF entirely. Mm. And I still remember that project fondly because it was it was the best days. But yeah. Oh my god. So I'm getting tired. <laughs> that should be the whole answer for the content creation. Thing. Yeah, that, that, was, was, that uh, was the most in-depth and straight off. Every single other episode, everyone was like, yeah, I'm in indifferent to it. I guess it's not that good. <laughs> we got an entire video essay. <laughs> no, like, yeah, like Vic and, Vic and Brie can pr probably have more opinions about it. It's just that they probably didn't want to. Yeah. R ruffle any feathers. That's fair. I'm I'm gonna ruffle them because to be fair, I think they the Pavel I mentioned is probably already probably has me in that regard, so I don't really care. So I don't have to cut any of that out. Yeah, yeah. Like I told yes! you, keep it on the final <laughs> cut. Keep it on the final cut if you want. Perfect. Cut Vic and Bree's names out. Yeah, v uh, yeah, they, they're very public, so I call their names out a lot because we're actually cool with each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, cut, cut their cut their names out in the final cut. So uh, you just heard me getting excited about not having to cut things out, and you went, "Nah, screw you! You're gonna cut, yeah, 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 <laughs> You're gonna yeah, cut this yeah. out." <laughs> I'll give you but something, yeah, uh, out, buddy. They didn't like, I think you, I think you don't even have to cut them out because you had them on before. Yeah. So yeah, but they didn't say anything. Were, like, well, no, they like didn't say anything, and I don't think I don't think I'm saying anything they have they haven't said either. No, nah, all right. Or anything that isn't public. So, mm. yeah, like my opinion on why the other people you have interviewed so far haven't given a full answer is because they're afraid to ruffle feathers. Yeah. While I do think that I don't really lose much by giving a full answer as to. As to my perspective on the content creators, uh, content creator ecosystem. Yeah, I think it's going to be appreciated by plenty of people. I, I mean, I learned plenty. People, others might, others might have to ruffle feather, their have feathers. It's going to have a positive ruffled. and a negative reaction. That's just yeah. how it's going to be. Like I'm fully expecting. All right, all right, all right. A, a couple DMs on Sunday. Listen, listen. If it does, like mess up people at least we're gonna have more traction <laughs> look, look if you're getting offended by this you might want to think about yourself for a Leave second a comment I'm just gonna below be so i get recommended more <laughs> <laughs> i want to be talked about in stylist general <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man th thanks a lot pujo yeah, for especially for, for doing talking this last minute. such in depth about such like a large amount of things mm -hmm. no problem this episode was like the schizo episode it's gonna be really yeah good. for real with all the <laughs> conspiracy theories and shit. What what people didn't notice was a uh, what people won't see was us fucking rambling for one one and a half hours about literally nothing. <laughs> we have heard been, that recording. We've rambled for over for three and a half hours. Well, thank you so much, Prudos, yeah. for being here today. Thank you. A lot. Uh, I did not expect this. This podcast was a surprise to me. Mm -hmm. I did not expect it to be. Was this the name of the podcast on Spotify? I was trying to find it. Uh, before should be I just the Back Map Podcast. Uh, back Map. What a great podcast. name! I'm so glad I came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, oh, I you're just so nice and humble about it. You know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best. We're not gonna. We're not gonna point out that I came up with that. <laughs> wait wait did you yeah <laughs> hold on hold on yeah <laughs> you did come up with, never mind i have schizophrenia i have apps you're just dude, so proud I'm of what so we're creating it's okay dude like <laughs> never mind cut to 10 episodes in when we don't have put my profile picture about. with like a reddit moderator thing on top or something i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw the it in my profile image 
Yeah, the dude. fucking fedora and neck beard. <laughs> I came up with that. Yeah, my lady. <laughs> my sources, I made it the fuck up. Oh god, the re- oh the Reddit days were crazy back then. Holy <laughs> fuck, I remember. But like, yeah. also oh. if I, one one extra thing, I will say I still mi- miss Billy, Billy and Billy Billy Curve Lily. Who? Huh? Uh, they they used to make videos. Billy Curve. I think you can find them as Lily Double E's. Okay. They used to make very good PF videos, and I actually got to work with them back in the SCMCP EMP days. Okay. They they seem like they they are better today, but they 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 made really good stuff, and I miss them a lot. Mm. Mm. Like. Of the of all the PF content creators I've watched, they were the only one I watch regularly. Okay. Yeah. That's got to be a pretty high mark for normal, not obsessive people to watch co- PF content regularly. Yeah. Like, Oscar, I did tune in for the occasional video on test play stuff and the occasional update video. Strider, same story, only update videos and the occasional map stuff that he mm. discussed. Moon FPS, I do watch them whenever they post, that is, because I think they're on a hiatus. Uh, your videos, I do watch them from time to time because they, I do find them funny. Hey. Yeah, like the PF news segments are very funny, Good. I will say. That's the goal. Yeah. Smiles is the goal, not money. But but like, of all PF content creators, Lily is the, the one I really miss. Okay. They Yeah, they used to make re- really cool videos. What was their style? Both what did on, they do? Uh, so they they were pretty similar to Oscar in the sense that they were mostly just gameplay okay. and commentary. But like, I don't know why it clicked that they then started to branch into map making and actually have a guide on how to fix Desert Storm. Oh, oh my on god! Their channel. Yeah, did, uh... they actually they they did commentary on. Actual issues back in the day. Did, uh, That's did good. Vask, did yeah. Vask listen? Like, let me see if I can find their channel if they haven't deleted it yet. I found it. How to fix Desert Storm? Piss filter. Yeah, they have. <laughs> yeah, they have on the topic of no skill weapons. Game mode suggestions. A Q and A with Shaylin back in the day. Post. Oh, oh, oh. hey yo. Yeah. Hold like, on, we gotta, we gotta fucking steal that. <laughs> yeah. No, I could ping Shay, ping Shay, ask him if he would like to show up. Shay'd I believe it would cool be addition. very productive. That'd be cool. Yeah. I if would you ping him adore... and ask him to show up, he better ask every other people on the dev team to show up. I would up. adore getting the devs on here just so they can have a place to talk and not have people immediately being like, mm, yell yeah. at them. Yeah, 100%. I believe it would be very I think, productive. I think they're scared of like some type of backlash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, I don't, I don't think we're are. big enough for that yet. <laughs> look, any backlash, like, they can just not look at the comments. That is true. Mm. Well, I guess they probably would get DM'd. Yeah, I mean, like, back on topic, Lily used to make very good videos. Okay. I don't, I don't really watch them much today because I don't have time, because I have to split between job, PF, commissions I do for the other studio that I told you about before you started recording, uh, yes. the wiki, my house stuff with my fa- with my family, mm. and so. I obviously cannot spare the time to watch many things that I would w- like to watch. Post their channel in the in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, po- I'll post them. Yeah, I learned about a few more content creators today. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, like Lily, you, Lily, Lily. When they left, I do believe something changed when, in the PF content creation sphere because they were very popular. Hmm. Everyone looked at them, and they they had a voice. They actually participated in both aspects of both being a content creator and contributing to the game because they helped review maps during the SEMCP phase. Hell, they actually helped me by reviewing my maps back then. Ooh. And they actually worked on a map that's now removed called Luck. Oh. Mm. 
We heard yeah, a lot about that, man. Yeah, we removed it at the end because Roblox raised an issue about portraying casinos. Oh, that figures. Yeah, so we had to remove it because of that. But like, they were very, very involved in in Phantom Forces. And hold on, hold on. A Phantom Forces map was removed by request from Roblox. Well, for... I say request from Roblox, but it's also part of our own volition because it wasn't okay. popular and it was very bad. Uh, okay. And it's also because the person that initially mained the project, the person, the main person on the project, dropped out. So you guys okay. just like you guys because like, hey, I was about sorry, to say Roblox was angry. I was yeah, about literally. to say gambling tycoon. I was gonna say they, <laughs> Roblox is just oh like no, definitely, casino. definitely. That's yeah, that's the one thing uh, you could reasonably raise up because a Roblox allows, allows this other stuff, but like it actually was just a convenient excuse to get rid of an actual nuisance. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's fair because luck was very bad. Luck was very bad, and it still haunts everyone on the team to this day. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I see his face. No, not not quite like that. It's more so like, uh, you know this scene from The Boys Season 3 when Soldier Boy is just walking down the street and then he hears this song and immediately explodes? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's literally that. Someone <laughs> says, look, we all just go into a PTSD attack. All right, I'll be sure to say that in Stylus Discord once staff are, sass are on yeah, like, a lot. If you, if you want luck back... The answer is no. <laughs> Sorry, Please, no. I have a mental health. All right, all right. you you just you just gave me the the number one like a uh, triggering excuse for for staff now. Yeah, like I'm uh, totally look, gonna use no that thing. on everyone. We we went from in like ten minutes. We went from yeah, dude. Thank you for being on. To I have PTSD whenever the word luck is brought up. <laughs> oh no, like. <laughs> Whenever the word luck used for the map is brought on. <laughs> we should have luck it, back and then because... chat burst into... <laughs> <laughs> no! No, no, no! Yeah, like, there have I been other we... maps with worse cases, for example. Right now in test place. Don't you dare. I think there was there was this map called Canyon. I remember the, the place name, once. but I don't remember it. Yeah. It was a desert with, with a bunch of pl crashed planes. Okay. The dude that made it used stolen assets. That figures. So we erased it. It wasn't nearly as bad as luck. There was also this other map with a Mar helicopter on it. Hangar is the name. Okay, yeah. It wasn't it thankfully had original stuff, but it it it, it played so bad. Ah. Uh, the map, <laughs> yeah, I I've, I've explored through a bunch of the maps. That map is cool, but I definitely I can understand why it wouldn't. I would remake well. it. I would remake it if I had the time. Yeah, because it is a really cool concept. Yeah. Same. And there was also this other map called Angola yep. that was literally just a bunch of gray boxes. Yeah. I would gladly take that concept further, but I'm already involved in resort, so I already have enough Toto Africa for me. <laughs> what are you looking at, Kita? <laughs> I know you're staring There's really at something. There's nothing. I am just so tired right oh, now. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's gone. I, I just zoned out. <laughs> We've been at this for like, what, four hours? Almost, yeah. Almost, yeah. yeah. I've well, should we, I... should we end it here? Yeah, we, we should actually end <laughs> yeah. it before we just say, yeah, thanks for being here. And then it just, we ultimately <laughs> go, go into three right. topics. Second, like second try. Second try, try. baby. <laughs> Thank try. you, Pujos, for being here today. Yeah. Um, this was unexpectedly a very interesting episode. I, I thought so much. I am very sorry for 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 uh, underestimating you, but you've actually brought a ton of knowledge to mm -hmm. I think both of us, and I think it's going to greatly benefit anyone who watches this. I like think in terms of I think the people who actually take the time to watch this are going to benefit a lot from it. Oh yeah. Um, and if any other con contributors are watching this too. Uh, I think you've also helped a, quite a few of them. Some of them know nothing about the history of the fan of Phantom Forces. It's kind of it's kind of kind of funny. I don't blame them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to know it either. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it is. It, it is a very deep rabbit hole, but yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad this <laughs> this helped. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have some closing words? 
Pujols? Well, from, well, this is mostly for anyone that wants to be contributor. Give it, give it a shot. You, you, if you, at at best you're you're getting an experience you won't regret because you learn, you learn many things that you can then use for other stuff. And at worst, you're you're just gonna have spent time into a hobby that maybe wasn't for you. But yeah. do give it a shot. Well, and who knows if you get denied here, maybe that asset or map could be used in another game that they'll yeah give you a chance for. Yeah, like not even U.S. Army recruiter type beat, but yes, do give it a try. <laughs> do do. Uh, that do try fair. to. I think we do need. A, I do. I do think we, we need, need more. New, we need new faces. We we want yeah. new faces. We need new faces to contribute yeah. to the game. All right. Well, uh, country, you close us out. And uh, actually, no. Every time I ask you to do that, you like go up to Dude, your mic and you I'm, make, yell I'm into not it. good at. I'm not good at goodbyes. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't even matter <laughs> if it's the. End. I most of the time I just try to find a really convenient spot to cut the video or the stream, like right there where I say cut, and it's gonna be really funny. <laughs>